What up, dogs? Welcome back to episode 15 of Sit on My Ass. Pick up sticks. Pick up sticks. Yo, submit a pat on the cam. I just want to say I'm very happy to introduce you, Groove and Kevin, the little minion. <laughs> <laughs> I got you when I don't say it's pat on the cam. Who is Kevin? Kevin, the little minion. That's the name. Just Groove and the... You don't watch them. No. From the Minions movies? Like, expect, no, those movies are bad. You don't watch movies anyway. No, nah, I'm just playing. It's a man pat with a cam. I'm Kyle. Still. This is the legendary Mike Tyson's kryptonite <laughs> upper deck of steam. President, Woo! vice president, secretary, ba, 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 all ba, ba, ba. the Cinnamon Ave fan club. That's right. Steve is the only fan we have. Only fan. I'm holding it down. He also has an only fans. He does. Look him he up. Has, he has no subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Upper lower deck. That one. His only fans is free. He has no subscribers. Might have one later though. Oh, <laughs> bango bango. <laughs> what up, dogs? Mm. Episode fifteen. Shit. That's, That's a lot of time thing. to hang out with you. Right. I, I get sad every Friday. I get real sad. Well, today's Thursday, so. Thank God. <laughs> I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. Ooh, Switching it up. Switching it up. How's everybody say? Your day, your week, your life. The coffee's kicking in, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. I can just tell. Was it cold when you got it? No. No, it was still hot when I was walking. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Those are okay. good cups, then. Yeah. Yeah. Meant Shout out to Wawa. Wawa. Sponsor us. It, like, buckled on me, but... <laughs> oh, I saw the word shill in something yesterday. <laughs> I was watching uh, Ted Lasso, like I was telling you, and so there's one episode where Sam is doing the pictures for uh, Dubai Air, and then when the mom texts him, and was, she's like, I can't believe you'd shill for a company that's, like, ruining your home, your own country. And I was like, I've never heard that word except when Carter wrote it on the board and we were like, we don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> and we still don't. <laughs> where, where, where's the infamous board? Where's the board? At? No, no, no board for you. Get the board. Oh, Get the my board. God. Get the table. <laughs> I'm excited. This, I've been waiting for this episode. That's it. That's the board. That is the board. <laughs> it's so hard to get this guy. I'm expecting show. like this big ass, like you know, something. No, it's not even, we're not. It's we're not, even we're not there yet. Fast, no. <laughs> okay. When we get sponsors, we get. What is the name of that board? Yeah, who wants to sponsor us so we can get a good whiteboard? Whiteboard, sponsor us. <laughs> Sharpie, sponsor us. Smartboard. Deli sponsor around us. the corner. Smart. There's a deli around the corner. Deli around the corner. Yeah, sponsor us. You guys, you can sponsor. I don't us. care. Yeah. They don't have change. But they can change your life <laughs> with a sponsorship. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I tell you what. Don't get an old milk cream pie from there. I could still call. Not take your twenty five cent. <laughs> Taxes on that motherfucker. You better bring Keith with you. <laughs> Is that with one T or two T? <laughs> He's down the one. We had the goofy thing going on. We had the T. Just the gap. What do we got to do to get rid of the other one? <laughs> what did you have to do to get back? <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of things, huh? <sighs> oh, we're out of content. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <not done. laughs> Laugh, Carter. Come on. It's the 15th episode. You got to do something. Sorry, right. We're only five minutes in. Yo, we got this. Don't, Don't worry. I really have a very good idea <clears throat> of how to get him to laugh. Word. Guaranteed. I'm going to text you guys later. You're going to have... Well, well, you might know. We may have talked about it on the podcast at some point. Yo, you might get it. It's cranberry juice is lit. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a really good coffee. Yeah? What's your cup of coffee, cranberry, cranberry juice? You got it? <laughs> Sponsor us! <laughs> Great value. Bone basket. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yo, imagine if ShopRite sponsored us. We'd have much better snacks than this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Those They're not bad. Well, I mean, they, they would provide them, though. Yeah. Right. They would provide those, or we'd have, like, healthier snacks. Nah, you can get that big-ass bag of popcorn. I would get, like, some Chex Mix, or, like, uh... Isn't that big-ass bag of like popcorn, trail like, mix the cheapest, something? like, thing in that aisle? It's like a dollar in there. Yeah, no, right. You do you guys get like snacks before you go to the movies? No, I, mean, I just I, don't eat at the movies anymore. I just don't go to the movies. So the fuck, man. Listen, let me tell y'all something real quick. I get snacks before I go to the movies. I I used to go to like Burger King in Burlington and then walk across and go in. Me and Tom got beers one time. <laughs> See, I've never done that, and I really wish that I have. But I I now I want to <clears throat> not get kicked out of the theater because I want to be able to go back. Like, God forbid I get kicked out of a theater and I can't review these new movies anymore. Dude, that's what you smell like all the time, by the way. <laughs> you have to do ass smell like all the time. <laughs> no. There, there is more than one theater, though. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to go to Morristown. It's a good one. Morristown. Regal. 
Sponsor us. That artist. Watch the township. Sponsor us. Regal. Watch the township. Sponsor us. All the movie theaters. Sponsor AMC. Us. Thank you. <laughs> Sponsor us. Woo woo. What's the one that Mark Cuban owns? He owns a whole chain of theaters. Fuck it. Film festivals. Sponsor us. Any of them. I don't really think you could. That's not a brand. No. Film festivals not a brand. You Try can't back yeah, Tribeca could. Sundance. I just Slam like, dance. I guys wouldn't put them all in the same category. Canes. Sweetheart. Sweetheart has a film festival. Yeah, I put that shit in there in that video. What if we get her on here? That would be dope. Right? We should reach out to her. Oh, my boy, uh, he wants to come on too. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that. Wait, well, you have other friends? Mm. I thought this was it. It was very hard to find, but yes. <laughs> Wait, who's your boy? His name is Eric. His name is Eric? Mm-hmm. What happened to the guy whose name you spelled wrong every single time you texted me? Jerry. Yeah. Because That's no, his name was spelled out. It's right. No, no, it was not. Yeah, it he is. He texts me one day and he goes, My friend Jard wants to be on. No, J-A- you just can't read. No, it says J A R D. And then I text you back and I said, I just want to be clear. Go on right now. His name Look his name right now. I'm not looking at his name, I'm looking at what you texted me. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. This is the this is the point. It's not the point. This is happening. This is really happening. Yep. Put your phone away, we're in a podcast. Fuck! Oh, here. Simple rule. Hey, yo, my boy Jard all, wants to be, be on the show. All, why do you need to be sad said, right there? Okay, let's get him on. And just to be clear, his name is Jard? No, I didn't say Jard. Yeah. You read that wrong. Okay. Then. He doesn't drink coffee. I gotta find. So then later. <laughs> I know. <laughs> later, he goes, I was gonna ask my friend Jared if he could do tomorrow. All right. Then later he said, I haven't heard anything from Jarrett yet. (laughs) Every single time you spelled his name differently. I like to throw you off your game, buddy. But he said, you want to be I got Jard, Jared, and Jarrett. Mm, Who's coming on the show? I don't know. (laughs) Maybe he's like Moon Knight. Stay tuned. (laughs) He's all three in one. You know what's funny? I just got done watching the old Spider-Man show, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, and Moon Knight was in there. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And you know when uh, Black Widow, when she's talking to uh, the Red Guardian? Yeah. And she was like, oh, all you care about is the Crimson Dynamo? That's an actual character. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. So, was there ever a... Flood a mood? She's single. Sorry, go ahead. No, she's question? not. Yes, yeah, she is. She's single. She broke up with Zach Raff? Yeah. Oh, God. How have I not heard about this from you yet? Is this more Marvel? Oh, well, I'm sorry. You, you know yeah. Forrest Pivas? Who? Have you seen... Um, TV. Oh God! TV? What, what was the what was the big movie that she was in before? It was the, the wrestling uh, movie, Wrestling with the Family. That well, one? she was in that one. Yeah, like Wrestling with My Family. She was in that. She was the main character. Um, and then she was also in the like culty kind of horror film that took place like in Eastern Europe, where they went to like this uh, this annual thing in Sweden or something. God, I can't remember what, what it was called. People really really liked it, and she was the main character. I thought it was just okay. Um, but anyway, she was also in, she's going to be in a new movie coming out soon with like Harry Styles or something, um, which I'm hopefully getting a screener for. Harry yeah, Styles, isn't he a singer? Nope. He's a big actor now. He signed a five million or five movies, something million dollar deal with Marvel. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool Sam, that's good. Good for him. And, um. Speaking of that, did you guys hear about that digital rapper who just got like a $10 million deal with a record label? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some fucking, uh, I'm just upset because it's not real. <laughs> it's like, uh, what is it called? The Gorillas again. You know, they, they, yeah. well, they actually, actually <clears throat> people, of course, but, yeah, it's this new dude who decided to make an avatar and he raps via avatar. And he started. They had more than one hit, though? What? Gorillas? Really? Yeah, they had, um, well, one main hit. What's it called? Uh, the Feel Good Inc. Um, what's the other one? Sunshine? And yeah, that's the only that's one the I same, remember. That's the same song, right? No, it's two different things. I got Sunshine? That's sunshine and the bad. That's one. The feel good. That's the only one I know. I thought they were the same song. The feel good. No, okay. No, I know what you're talking about. But I thought they were the same song. I can't. There's. I don't remember. I know both. If they're different songs. Did you look up the name of that movie? What are you doing? I thought you were doing. You have one job. Actually, it's a couple jobs. Yes. Air conditioner. Yeah, you have a couple jobs. F you. Oh, okay. Sponsor us. <laughs> well, now I gotta pull out the phone again because I gotta look up what Florence Pugh was. This in. guy is breaking Ooh. all the rules. I don't care. We make the rules. This is our podcast. You're yeah, goddamn right. I like how he thinks sometimes. Yeah. So, anyway, tell us about you, sir. Midsummer. This is fun. See, see how yeah, she is? Yeah, she's in Little Women also. <laughs> you done? You finished over there? 
Can you, can, I think so. Can you, can you tell us about him? Yeah, I think so. Upper deck. Oh, she was also in... No, I'm fucking... <laughs> <laughs> upper deck or lower decker? Tell us about your upper decker life. How to, how to act. Originally, it should be triple decker. I don't know how we revert it back to double decker. Oh, you Why did. is it triple decker? Yeah, explain that to the audience, shall we? Well, see, everybody knows what the you know single and double decker is, but the triple decker is is when you put the saran wrap on the bowl, and oh. then you drop one right there. Boop, boop. Triple decker. That takes boop, too boop. much work, I think. Listen, if you can pull it off, you're a fucking god. Well, I'm gonna bring saran wrap to the next to the next show. So might, no, the fuck you won't. <laughs> I mean, the bathroom oh, might already be set up. up for it right now. We don't know. It you know. could be. We don't know. I'm about to Two of you's already been in there, so I'll do it myself. Experiment. And then I, call I, I, I didn't hear you sing this last time you were in there. Huh? I didn't hear you sing last time. He sings every time he goes to the bathroom. Hey, you know what's funny? Because my sister does it too. I didn't realize that. He was like, is that like a new thing where y'all sing when you get out of the bathroom? So sister like, getting brought up again. Yep. See? Yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I got to refill my cup when I get done this drink right here. I don't think you need any more. It's cranberry juice. It's good, it's good for your body. That's the darkest cranberry juice I've ever I seen I was going to say life. that earlier when you when he said it was cranberry it's juice. It looks like blood. Cranberry juice. Well, Coffee, vampire, cranberry juice. No, know, I'm not going to ask you because you probably didn't see it. You know. I probably didn't, but ask anyway. You know that new movie with uh, Jamie Foxx and Snoop? Did it actually come out yet? Yeah, it's on Netflix. It must have just come out. Mm-hmm. It's him and Dave Franco, right? Yes. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I'm trying to Carter to watch it, cause, but he said he's not really... He said he will watch it, but he's not. I here. just watched Old for the first time. How? Where? where wait, wait, first of all, where did you watch it at? Where? It's on uh, HBO Max now. Yes. What's Old? It's a newest M. Night Shyamalan movie where they're oh. on the beach and they uh, <laughs> they get older like significantly faster than they're supposed to. I want to check it out. It's very, good? very well done. Maybe his best movie. So, But it's also it it's it? also not his story. It's based on a graphic novel. Um, and he, had, he just adapted it for film. So that's probably part of the reason why the ending wasn't so ridiculous like most of them are. Like well, there was like a cohesive story from beginning to end and it made sense why things were happening. It wasn't. Another movie he did that was based on the show. You just said, I don't know. Yeah. We yeah playing so, with now I'm, so now, I'm, now I'm scared to watch this one because it's based on a graphic novel. Maybe like you know. it. Well, I mean, if you're comparing the two, maybe if you've read the graphic novel, maybe it wasn't as good. I never but I didn't, so that doesn't affect me. Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I don't like, care how it affects other people. I like his movies. Some are not bad. Yeah, I like. I really like Science Split. actually. Dope. I still have not seen those. Because, Yo, I'm about to make a compilation on how many times you say that in the shoes. I still have not seen it. <laughs> so, I did not watch Split because I didn't see the other two. Let's see. Alright, so we really got six movies. So, uh, Unbreakable, or no, Unbreakable and Split are the two, and then Glass is the third. Right. So, wait, we gotta do Spike Lee first. You mm-hmm. wanna do uh, M. Night next? That's fine. Okay. Anybody coming to watch these movies with us? No. You're, you just gotta hop a fence. No. And not no 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 don't not break do not have a fence by all means don't he's not I'm, a, I'm not, it's actually starting to get a little you know a little rougher to do so hey, man. Like, were you there the, it might have been Adam the time you went back and forth maybe six times throughout the night and every time you needed additional help yeah <laughs> like you walked up I mean, he cleared it the first time swung his legs over the next time he got one leg over and like one foot landed on top next time he like lifted his leg over and like stood on it and hopped over. Next time he needed a chair, like every single time he hopped over the fence. Uh, it's, struggle's real. It was like he's in the movie old. Well, right? I'm not saying we're just aging like a fly and just rapidly over the next I mean, ever since like, someone got hurt hopping that fence, it's just, I mean, kind of cursed, I guess. I should oh, say. Man. Yeah, but you're Didn't not. Did your wife get hurt also? I think so, yeah. Now she specifically walks around, so. Man, look, man. That shit yeah, I was like, the last few times he came over, he came all the way around the block. <laughs> That shit real, dog. She did it the first time she came over, too. The first time we ever hung out, she came over to watch a movie with us. And I saw her, the car leave, and I was like, I don't think Michelle's coming over. And then all of a sudden, the doorbell rings. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's usually because of what either A, what she's wearing clothing-wise, or even shoe-wise. Because you know, it's kind of hard to hop a fence in a dress. I feel like and... the dog would hop the fence. At you if he wanted to. But not anymore, I don't think he could. I mean, he, yeah, he's definitely getting older, but Derek can definitely now. But yes, that man can. is still fast as shit. Oh, yeah. He'd be like 95 and still just make moves. Yeah. I'm, I'm just impressed on how well he can catch without just... It's, it's insane. Yeah. I was like, maybe his past life he was a wide receiver. Maybe. Definitely not for the Steelers, though. We did good. When? when? We won a game recently. Remember when you guys were like 9-0? 
preseason? We talking about preseason? Was, was, no, no, that's not better. <laughs> <laughs> you were eleven and zero. What, what were you guys? And you just made the playoffs, and you lost. What, what, what about you guys? Y'all win the playoffs too. Did y'all? I mean, we won a Super Bowl three years ago. How many times? Oh, all right. You know, I'm going to let you have that for the next 20 years. Because it's not happening again. Your team literally fell apart. Your team won one Super Bowl. Okay. And it's never going to happen We won a total again. of three championships. That don't... Nobody cares. <laughs> but, but, all right. So my... No my, fucks are given. No, so listen. So my thing is, why are they discounting this? They played... Like, so from the last year of the championships right. to the first year of the Super Bowls, the structure wasn't changed. Like, they just played the same. They just renamed it. So why did they renamed it now is more important? Mm-hmm. Well, there's a little bit more behind that because it was, you know, just the NFL or whatever it was then. Sure, the leagues merged. Yeah. But still. Because it so, was AFL and NFL and then. Mm. I don't know, dog. You guys sucked back then. You literally had to join our team. Steagles. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 1943. Two, two to three. I didn't even know that was like. <laughs> I mean, it was also born. doing World War Two. But... Okay, when I was born, I'm literally the youngest person here. But do you look it though? Yes. Did you even hit thirty yet? Or <laughs> <laughs> puberty? I'm gonna be thirty-two tomorrow. <laughs> Woo! Thirty-two. Look at him. Look at him. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. I got a card off the day. <laughs> what? I was like, I look fucking forty. <laughs> they were just fucking. They wanted you to feel good. They wanted to. Didn't work. I got carded when I was 21. Now I'm, I was like, how old do I look? Like 60. I was like, yep. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> They're being generous. <laughs> that was one girl I watched. She was like, you like, what, 27? I was like, sure. I'll take it. Is Carter making jokes over there? Silently? So, all right. So before we get too off track, I do have a question that I wanted track? to ask. Track? the track that we were on? <laughs> <laughs> The fact that we were just watering it. Guys are always on a track. It was talking. like a track through, like you know, like Philly streets. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were just, just stopping at certain places. Right. <laughs> Went through Kingsington a little bit. You know. <laughs> so I thought about this before we started. I have a couple questions. This one I want to ask first. Why is Pat such an ugly, whiny bitch? Mm. Oh, I can answer that for you. Your mother. Oh, that was a terrible thing. <laughs> Probably that cranberry <laughs> juice he's drinking. <laughs> I was good, and then I met you, and his life just got bad. Is that what happened? Yeah. Right. You had no friends until me and Carter. At Carter, and then I met you, and it was just like, all my other friends that I had, they were just like, why do you hang out with this guy? He's a bald dick. Well, then again, you weren't a bald dick. You were just like a, a, a I, sack. I, with I, I hair. had hair then. Yeah. I had plenty of hair then. When I met you. Did you just start, like, did you just shave it? Did you know that it was going to happen, and you were just like, I'm done? No, I... You saw him. You were at my wedding. You did have the George Cassandra at the, at the I had like three sprigs that were combed over <laughs> at my wedding. You had the Homer Simpson. <laughs> I started losing it in high school, so. My hair's going great now. I had a little tiny bald spot at 19. We don't have to worry about that. Except for, you know, here. It's starting there, too. <laughs> I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. The more you look in the mirror, the more it's going to happen. That's why I stopped looking. Because looking at you is stressing you out, 100%. Looking at you, my, by the end of this show, my hair's going to fall out. Good. We'll be the Bald Brothers. Can you put the condom on? Condoms! Sponsor us. <laughs> Schroden man! <laughs> but I do have an actual question. It's actually one that I wanted to ask weeks ago, but it was when Dave was on, and Dave was like, I don't want to answer this question, so I didn't ask it. I don't like fun. I'm Dave. <laughs> so the question is, and this is not specific to a romantic relationship, Ooh. what do you look for in a relationship? Sex. Oh, I'm sorry, you said, what? <laughs> we, we, we're talking like a platonic friendship. Oh! Too, like... You know, I was gonna say I've been married for seven years now. I don't know where we're going? But no, with that. so I'm also talking about like, what are you looking for like in a friendship? Loyalty, or what are you looking for in a relationship between like a boss and yourself? Don't put yourself or on a higher... subordinate and yourself. My whole thing is this: if you're my boss, don't make, don't act like you're better than me because you're my boss. Mm. Don't treat me like that. We gotta be on the same page. Money you from all your relationships. Okay, craps. <laughs> can you can you say that out loud for everybody so they can hear it? What'd you say? We can't hear you. Let's just stop reading whatever he puts on there. Yeah, just don't even. No, we'll just bring Keith in. <laughs> Keith would do the maybe, all, maybe all types it, of things. Maybe it's Keith with two F. Keith. <laughs> two F, no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, loyalty, loyalty, and that's honesty. fair. And communication, just sure, that's fair. 
And it's like, just like, like we always fuck with each other, but it's like at the end mm-hmm. of the day, I know you got me, I got you. That's what I'm looking for in a friendship. Bro. So, but if you were hanging off a, nope, I'm not reading it. Don't read it. <laughs> he doesn't exist. <laughs> Until he decides to talk, he doesn't exist. Please time out. If, he, wa- if he wants to be quiet, he can be quiet by himself. <laughs> He's put you in time out, bro. <laughs> What about you? We look for a friendship. But not just friendship. I'm talking like all relationships in general. Well, I said sex, but then you're could just be like, a, whoa, could, could be weird. It could be an acquaintance. <laughs> it could just be... Well, I mean... Just don't be a fucking idiot. Work, I wouldn't... I, I, I wouldn't... Associate as friends? Yeah, no. It's, it never... Oh, right. it, I mean... Well, I was friends with him before I started working there. I mean, yeah, I don't know why. Weird. Either way, I've never He's successfully really like... I mean, other than meeting my... Other than meeting my wife at work, that's probably the most was that, successful. Was that like an issue at first? Not, not, not really. Okay. Uh, it was honestly kind of cool throughout the whole process. I mean, it was the issue was me at first because you know. No, I don't. That's my messy questions. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, you probably never heard the story. So yeah, basically, she was when she started working there. She was seventeen. I was twenty one, twenty two ish. Maybe 23-ish. I don't know. Somewhere in that ballpark. But how long ago was this? I'm just going to do the math real fast. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but, yeah. You can't remember that far back. It, it was, it, it was in on, the 2000s. Take time. Take okay? time. <laughs> it was in the 2000s. Back in my day. <laughs> like 09, 08, 07, somewhere in there. Six. You know. He doesn't know. It's all blurring together now. Yeah. Definitely wasn't. That's real shit. Definitely in this century. <laughs> But yeah, no. I, she started out there part time. I was in one department. She was in another, and you know, I was kind of just playing her off for a little bit for a while, and then you was playing it cool, huh? But you got home, you like she loved you, she loved you now. Yeah, and then she finally got you know reeled me in, and you know, knowing her, she didn't reel you in. She just said, look you, motherfucker, you <laughs> mine now. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, exactly. You're in trouble, so. just blink. <laughs> That's why you met your wife at work too. I did meet my wife at work at Six Flags. Now that I have a job, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> Look, I have my last two relationships. I'm, I'm good for now. <laughs> Dumpster fires. Yeah, that was good for no one. So, all right. Speaking of, could you guys have uh, you know relationships that seem to be working out well for y'all? I don't know why that was hard for me to put together. Yeah. Suggestions for people who are single. Don't get married. Okay. No, I have no. I, I, I don't know. Do you play? Well, you can't really answer that question because I was talking to my sister. She was just like, uh, "That sister again." <laughs> no, we're talking about dating. Keith? We're talking about dating, and I was telling her, "I said you guys are like twenty. You're Old Testament dating. This is different now." Nope. And then I'll tell you what. No, it's the. Uh, I was telling her it's old. The old uh, testimony dating. This is new now because oh, you know, hey, how you doing? Oh, I like you too. Now it's like. Ugly, ugly. Right. You had this kind of phone. Ugh. What? You're not this. This is. People are just so jaded to connecting emotionally now. Yeah. So I feel like it's fucking hard as shit. To answer your question, I'm gonna not answer your question. Mm-hmm. Um. So my answer for the the friendship relationship thing was I would be looking for something different from everybody. Like, so there's a group of people that I can talk to everything. I can talk to them about everything. You're not one of them. I want to talk to you about nothing. Um, <laughs> here we are. But so, so like, there be, like, there's people that I know. Like, if I want to talk about music, I can talk about music. And there's certain people I want to talk about movies with. There's people I want to talk about emotions with. And I'm at, looking for something different. Oh, I'm in there. We're talking about all three. So, bam, bitch. That Sorry, sucks. Right. Um, but so I would imagine that it's different for every single single person. They're all looking for something different. So I don't think you can give one blanket that's, that's piece fair. of advice. I'm not just like. Uh, it's like the basic answer I give Just be a fucking adult <laughs> Yeah just, I mean Just be honest But you, You've seen it already Where you had the chick Was like I have no kids And I'm single And then she's like By the way I'm living with my ex-boyfriend And we're co-parenting our daughter My whole thing is That's the opposite How are you gonna sit there And say this is me And have a filter For your profile picture mm-hmm. Like what the fuck Is that all about But like Well so I did hear something Somebody explained that one time They put filters on to attract somebody, hoping that they'll get past like that first threshold, and they'll be they'll appreciate the like the personality. No, because you lied to me <laughs> from the gate. Makeup is straight blind. Th- that, I, I feel like you should be able to sue. 
That's false advertisement. <laughs> I mean, like, any, but, anything from makeup to filters. I mean, I mean like Quasimodo under that shit. Right. I'm thinking this whole time, like Halle Berry, and it's a lie. Like that, you know. And people are like, oh, it's not about physical attraction. Okay, let's be real about this. If I never talk to you at all, and I see you, I have to physically find something attractive to you to even want to have a kind of attention. You know what I'm saying? Like it right. all it starts with that. So yeah. if you're gonna laugh in the gate and say you look like this and then look like Bert Ernie, it's not like Yeah, people are like, Go talk to that that person over there. I'm like, I'm not attracted to her. Right. They're like, Well, she might have a really nice personality, but I'm not attracted but, to her. Right. Just that's my, part of dated it. someone for a while and wasn't physically attracted. But that's a whole different animal. That we don't we don't do that. Wait, do I know this person? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know her? <laughs> yeah, <same. laughs> it's Keith. But no, I just feel like people were like, like me. I remember me and Dara was having that conversation. And I was like, eh, no, me and my me uh, Dara. You. Anyway, so I just no, we're not. Nope. Me I, actually haven't heard, I actually haven't heard you mention her in a while. She's been working like for she works nonstop. Mm. So who's this? Dara, you know you met Dara before, right? I don't think you did ever meet Dara. Why would I meet her? Because she came to the, his house and just destroyed everybody in beer pong. No, she came to my grandparents' house. Oh shit! That's, Damn, that's pre Steve. That's pre Steve. Yeah, sorry Steve. What was that? You've only brought Keith over here, right? Keith and some other woman who ended up being nuts. I, she was a nice woman she, to the she, end. She told us. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the other one. I mean, your backyard does ever. attract some of the, you know. Oh, uh, I didn't. I don't fucking read that. I don't understand how is it, I end up finding these nut ass bitties. I don't understand that. Yeah. It's like it's just annoying. I forgot she existed. It's, it's I, I, well, to be fair, you shouldn't be worshiping the devil. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Like the whole aura? You just kind of just bring them people in. You put out what you get, I guess. Yeah. That, oh, we're we're getting there. We're we're cracking the shell there. <laughs> Breaking that shield down. Is it usually this close in the first a part? A couple times I've gotten pretty close like that. But this early, though? I, I, I really want to be the person that does it. I, yo, I will flip the table What is that? Title of my what? Ooh. Come on, we're getting there. Look at him. Oh, got a text <laughs> message. Bro, the rules. We only have three what? rules. It's Dave. Dave. Oh. oh. Hi, Dave. Yeah. Fuck you, Dave. So you watch out the window He now. said I suck. I don't know why. Well, I mean, it's true. Ooh, suspense. You guys have to stick around. I'm going to stick around. Ooh, suspense. <laughs> but no, that's a good question. I don't know. I just, it, it's like. Wait, what was the question this time? Would, would you just, the, the two together, honestly, about what are you looking for somebody? I'm not going to okay. lie. I'm not trying to be the Debbie Downer. I just kind of lost hope in love, to be honest with well, you. Well, it gets different as you get older. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I definitely don't have 90% of the friends I used to have. Yeah, true. 10, 15 years ago now, so... Yes, yeah, it becomes about the uh, the equality. <clears throat> well, the everybody just goes a different direction. Yeah, yeah, and that's not bad. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. some people, like, go a different direction, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. And some people, have, they so used to <gasps> being around all the time. It's like, Excuse Yo, me. I'm married and have I've a kid. I've never done that on the podcast. Before. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm married and have a kid. I have a job. I have a wife. I'm taking care of my house. And some people just like, oh, you don't hang out with me no more. I grew up. I still right. love you. I mean, I see you as much as I want to. Right. But people will have a hard time adjusting to that. And also in terms of like a of like a legitimate relationship, like at this point, we would be looking for something permanent. Like we're not looking to like screw around at this point. As far as if, friendships now, I'm good. If I don't make any I'm other th- friends, I'm about I'm, like a I'm romantic good. relationship. Like if oh. we happen to be single or you're looking, like we'd be looking permanently. Oh. Yeah, it's like I was talking to my side just the other day. I was like, ha- like that was really fast. That was a fast ass. You want to just. Remember what we were just talking about. And I was well, like, you got like 60 seconds to start a new story. So I was saying once about a time when I was a kid, <laughs> little baby, rocking on like hey. this. And then Pat, Pat, was ne- Pat was never little. <laughs> I was a big baby. <laughs> we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Peace. Speed and roll. Welcome back to episode 15 of Cinema Ave. It's your man Pat on the cam. Pick up sticks. Pick up sticks. And I'm sitting here with Caillou and Tommy Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I thought that was going to happen. I, 
I, I get the Tommy Pickles reference. <laughs> First, you know, he got those. I don't ones. know who the fuck you know Caillou. It was. Caillou. 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 You no. don't know who Caillou is? Caillou, the he's the most annoying bone, little. Kid. Yo, he's so annoying. He's the worst. I, I want to kick that. Yo, if I could kick him in his torso, I would. Call child services. I don't care. Right, let's roll it back in. What are we talking about? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> episode fifteen. We back. <laughs> he's gonna deer rant the whole fucking thing. <laughs> There is no thing. We're just uh, <laughs> we're just winging it this episode. Hey, you don't have a thing. I love is that thing. why you're so upset? I'm like the spider. Remember the spider I was saying about? You just <laughs> got that thing right spider. here. <laughs> Me spider. <laughs> so no, I was saying that it's easy to find sex. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's right there on your desk. No, I will kill you. <laughs> if you got water on my. You will die no, today. Sure. It's empty. I will kill. Uh, how many? How many? How are you gonna turn tomorrow? Because I'll hit you in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> 31? Wow. One. You're gonna punch really hard. <laughs> no, 32. 32. 32. Oh, welcome to the 32s. I'm 34. So <laughs> you know, people say the 30 30s are not doing anything. The, so when you hit 30, did your body just start breaking down? The day I turned 30. <laughs> you get like, oh, ah! I woke up the next day with the worst hangover of my life. He said, it's a beautiful uh, morning. I was so tired all day. I stayed up to like 4, watched a movie, then went to bed at 6, and got back up at 7. And I felt terrible. Who is being loud out there? I live in an apartment complex and I have neighbors. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> hey! Well, wait till you hit 35. Wait, what? You, you think you've already... Well, well what's oh, what's yeah. 45 like, Steve? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. And I'm not excited for it. So you guys are my wingmen, so I'm going to... Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I think I put the move back. So remember the last time you tried to talk to a girl in Atlantic City? No, I don't remember that. You actually do because you brought the story up a couple times. It was early in the night and we were. Look, man, I get nervous. Okay, some people have issues with anxiety. I'm one of those. Don't judge me. No, you didn't do anything wrong. She just didn't like you. Does that happen a lot? No, it was one time I was trying to talk to this chick and she was a Steelers fan and we had a good conversation at the bar and this one drunk ass dude came up. He was like, "Sup, bro?" and he just nudged me. You already <laughs> fucked up. Her. Oh, oh like, yeah, I remember. You him. remember that? I oh, do she's remember. Like, what the fuck? Like, Who the fuck is this guy? Right. He does that. What's up, bro? I was like, bro. But no, when we were watching the the band or the DJ or whoever was there at the time, you were like, "Hey, this is good music." Oh, right? she just walked away, and she was like, <laughs> and like walked away. <laughs> she just dipped off, no words or nothing. I was like, "Well, I, I gave it a shot." <laughs> Gonna keep drinking. I mean, you know, like I say, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I just happened to get those fish on the Simpsons with the three eyes. Yep. Every day you make, you know, choices. You look like the fish on the Simpsons with three eyes. You look like Homer. Well, you said he's your favorite character. Damn, I did say that. Are you like Gil? Don't know who that is. <laughs> you suck ass. Watch movies and TVs. Like, regular things. Like, Sim- The Simpsons is not good TV. Get out of my house. <laughs> I don't watch it either. You know what? Don't! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did, like... I couldn't get into it. I tried to watch it when it was on Disney Plus. It's it's still <clears throat> on there. <laughs> okay. I mean, I tried watching it Sunday nights when it would air. Disney you Plus know, is not like it. Netflix. It doesn't just destroy your hopes and dreams after it gives you a good show to watch. Yeah, it doesn't usually get rid of stuff. Netflix is this. Oh, I've just God. never been really into Spotless. cartoons. Yeah. That's, why you, that's why you look like that. Well, as a kid, it was Big Bird. That was, you know, live, you know, whatever you would call that. I live action. Like and whatever. Yeah. Like Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies was good, too. Yeah. And then Mr. Rogers and um, reading Mr. Rainbow Rogers used to scare or whatever. Me because he was just too nice. And I just felt like he's... And they claim he was like just a genuinely nice guy. Yeah. Like every... And drunk all the time, apparently. Was he drunk all the time? Okay. Uh, that's what I heard. Probably had to be. Yeah, with or kids or he was smoking time. a doobie. It's, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. But nah, he was a cool dude. day to be in the neighborhood. But then finally he died. I was like, damn, man, Mr. Rogers, fuck. Will you be a neighbor? I haven't seen the new Mr. Rogers movie, though. I haven't either. I haven't heard anything Tom about Hanks. it. You don't watch any movies, man. I'm sorry, Mr. I review movies, but don't view movies the fuck. Okay, so I said it last week. Shut up! <laughs> I only started watching movies like six years ago. Like, really watching movies. Can't see if you would have did younger, your hair would still be on your head if you would have just started earlier. Maybe. Maybe I, I would have gotten I just, into that. How did field. you make it through the 90s without watching movies? Yeah. That's, that's what I want. I, I, didn't watch, the era of I didn't watch Space Jam until I was like 23. You poor child. And I didn't care for it because I wasn't a child. Well, two was out when you were 23, right? What did you do when you were a kid? <laughs> like, what did you watch? The Wall? I watched a lot of cartoons when I was a kid. What kind of cartoons are we talking about? I watched a lot of Nickelodeon okay. and, like, those. So I watched the so Doug, Wild Thornberries, Rugrats. 
Who, which one was your favorite one? Rugrats is my favorite of all of them. No, Rugrats used to crack me up because I'm like, his parents, they should call it child services on his parents. Yeah. Because, first off, who the fuck lets the kids wander around in random ass places with screwdrivers in his pants? Maybe they thought he was well endowed. I don't know. <laughs> Toddler, dog. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm looking, I'm just saying maybe that's what they thought. <laughs> and then freaking Chucky was scared of everything. So, I mentioned that to my dad. I was like, that's stupid. He's the oldest baby. That makes no sense for him to be most afraid of everything. But I was like, no. He's learned all these things. So, he's he's actually smarter than everybody else. He has glasses, so. What's happening, man? Yeah, I was going to say people who wear glasses are smart, but. I just watched the show. I'm not that in-depth to it. I like Hey Arnold. <laughs> hey Arnold was one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, love Hey Arnold. I like Cat Dog. Cat Dog's funny. Uh, what all that it? Angry Angry Beavers. All that Angry Beavers wasn't my favorite. I mean, it wasn't top for me, but it was still funny. Like that, like uh, Our Real Monsters. They were okay. I didn't dislike. I love Our Real Monsters. Yeah. What about Rocco? Rocco was on the I thought was okay. Did you see the episode where he was working in the? He was doing sex calls. Oh baby, I think, oh baby. I think so. Rocco. Yeah. This is big. <laughs> and uh. The Amanda Show. <laughs> Remember Totally Kyle? I used to prank call people as Totally Kyle. You remember Ear, Ear Boy? Huh? Ear Boy, his ears are really big. No? Nope. Damn. Look at him. Look at him all down. How'd that get him? <laughs> <laughs> all that? I've never heard of that one. Pizza Face? No. Yes, I remember Pizza you Face. Ear Boy, he's what was the song? Oh, maybe I do. Who who was was the procrastinator? One of like one of the characters from All That or the Amanda Show? Is that one? He's like, I'll get to it eventually. That was Repair Man. Repair Man. Yeah. Man. 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 Yeah. You gotta echo his name when you say it. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Repair Man. 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 <laughs> Kenan and Kel was good. Yeah. What was the his character using a thumb? He had the escargot. Oh, he was a... Yeah, Pierre Escargot. Pierre, Pierre Escargot. But that was him on all that. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kenny Cole. <laughs> Who likes Arn Sooner? I like Arn Sooner. I do. But I know by that time you was like... Beyond your midpoint of life. Good burger. Classic. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, he said, I, I got that reference. <laughs> you know I named we're... something I knew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right back in it. Let's go. <laughs> what? You know what movie I liked? It was a Nickelodeon movie. I was like a teenager. Uh, Snow Day. That was, that was fun. Yeah. I remember that one. What the fuck? Um, I don't... The plow truck driver? Yeah. yeah. I remember... I don't remember who was in it. I don't remember anything about it other than it was a snow day. And I like thought the girl in the movie was cute. You know what? I used to like Home Alone. And then I grew up and realized yeah, his good. parents were horrible. <laughs> but also, what did he do to be able to afford to take 15 people to Paris? On Christmas. Oh, so did like you see the house they were in? Exactly. Like, what did he do? Well, prices back then were way different than they are now. But still. 15 people to Paris is 15 people to Paris. Maybe he was a mob boss. I don't know. Could be. Or sold exotic animals. So he was the same guy. He was in The Sopranos. And he was like... He still acts? I mean, The Sopranos came out in the late 90s. Damn. We talked about it like it came out yesterday. I just watched it like yesterday. <laughs> Uh-huh. He started watching movies six years ago. Yeah, so, sure, so, so yeah. but the the dad, Kevin's dad, um, is the detective who like gives Tony information in the show. I have a question for you. Me too. You ever seen that movie with Sinbad when he was a genie? Yes, it's real. Thank you. Because some people think it's not Sh- Shazam. Yeah. Not, no, not because it was Kazam and then Shazam. No, Sh- Shazam is Shaq, mm-hmm. right? And Kazam, no, other way around. Okay, Kazam was Shaq. Yeah. Shazam was, since, was Sinbad. People keep it claiming it was real. Man. You don't, never heard of that? No. And then there was like the whole conspiracy thing that it never really existed and we all made it up. What's and that? it's like been like deleted from IMDb and like you can't find anything about it. Yes. But I know I've seen it. I've seen it too. Yes. Why did the X-Files theme song sure. go off my head? Yeah. I think the only other thing I've seen is... Shut up. Shut your mouth. Well, he never opened I'm, his I'm mouth. I'm here with you. Just because you were too old to yeah. have watched it. You were frozen ice at that time. You already had a kid at that point. Wow. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Derek watched it. Wow. Okay. 
I didn't see that. That was on him. <laughs> but the only thing I've seen Sinbad in was uh, Jingle All the Way, which is, in my opinion, one of the best Christmas movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I have another question it's for you. It's top ten for me. So, do you okay. consider it a, what is it, Die Hard? No. A, no? You don't consider it a Christmas no. movie? No. Because everybody keeps saying it's a Christmas movie. No. So, this is my point. And somebody argued... Wait! That, did you see Die Hard? Yeah, I've seen them. Oh, I've seen them. Yeah, I've, I'm I've, surprised. I've, actually, you, I've actually seen all those. What? One, two, and three are good. The next two were, meh. They didn't need to be made. Mm, I'll disagree, 100%. You didn't it's like, like them? four was or probably you... one of the better ones. With okay. Justin Long? Correct. That's, but it's right. only it's the not... first one though, right? Right, only the first one. Yeah. But Just so it, Die Hard was during Christmas. Right, it's not essential to the plot. If, so somebody's argument was, there wouldn't have been a holiday party, there would have been hostages in that place, at, at Nakatomi Plaza, like, that late on any day other than Christmas Eve. So they're saying that it is essential to the plot because people wouldn't have been in those positions. But you could have made the argument that they could have been having a how like a an office party any other time of the year and the same thing have happened. So it's Christmas is not essential to the plot. It just happens to be on Christmas. Or it could have just happened during the day on like same, Wednesday at like one o'clock. Same thing at home, Saturday right. in the park. Same thing at home alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that, but yeah. same thing. Fourth of July, home alone. Fourth of July party. They could have gone on summer vacation to Paris. Growing up, them grizzies. So I don't think I don't think pork home alone roll is. hot dogs. I just learned of this today. I've heard of that. That's a thing? I've heard of that. Yes, it's the pork roll store, Yardville, New Jersey. I want to go. Let's go. We should go. We should invite Carter. Right, we'll... You can just watch us eat. Cause... See you guys later. He doesn't like food that's good anymore. Yeah, but a pork roll hot dog. No, he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're going to take it. <laughs> okay, but, so, favorite Christmas movie. I know it's not even close to Christmas, but still, we're kind of on the topic, so. Hold on. I just said it's not a Christmas movie. I don't movie. care what you said. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do, ooh, look at you, I said this. <laughs> Better for Christmas. Is that a Christmas movie? Yes! Never seen that. Nightmare Before Christmas is about a guy who... But no. it takes place in Halloween Town. It's... So isn't it perpetually Sweet Halloween? Jesus. You never watched that movie? No. I didn't like Tim Burton. You don't like movies. Christmas Story. Favorite. Favorite Christmas. Christmas That's movie. Good. But no, okay. Nightmare Before Christmas is about a guy who's... His name is Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. He lives in Halloween Town. You know, he's a Pokemon King. But he's tired of... Halloween. He doesn't want to do anything. I'm not calling it a Christmas movie. I'm sorry. So he goes to Christmas Town and he is still Santa Claus <laughs> and he dresses up like Santa Claus. And Did he even play it at Christmas Town? What? Did he even play it at Christmas Town? No, they played at Halloween Time, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like on yeah. ABC. But he, so it's a Halloween movie. No, they played it both. They played no, it both. No, they did. No, it's not like a. I almost got canceled. It doesn't go both ways. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I caught myself. Nah, man. This man making all these rules of movies he never seen. Fuck you. My second favorite right? Christmas movie is Elf. That's funny as shit. And then the Santa Claus two. Santa Derek Claus. actually loves the Santa Claus one. I love both, but I think I like the second one Flossy slightly better. I want to see when the Grinch. Seen. The Grinch. <clears throat> Which Grinch? Yes. <laughs> Animated over Jim Carrey. Okay. Jim Carrey's funny as shit though. No, he's fine, yeah. but animated better. Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph, Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, I got you. I don't know if this really counts. Eight Crazy Nights. That's 100% a Christmas movie. All right, cool. I agree with you 100%. We'll with that. I would not say it's one of my favorites. That shit's But it's funny. very good. It's, it's different than... I do the Walmart bit. I feel like it exists more in the comedy vein than in the... What? Okay, so what's considered Christmas? Snow? Well, no, no. I, I, presents, I literally just... A guy who's fat as fuck? I literally just agree with you. Because that's all Christmas. Well, then if, if you showed up somewhere, it's fucking Christmas. You're bald like him! <laughs> the Santa Claus I don't have there. What? <laughs> you would know. You work with him. On you said a fat man. Damn, I'm not fat. I'm this is You're pleasantly plump. This is fussle. It's fat muscle. We're flirting with that cancellation thing again. Yeah, body shaming. You. Can't. I'm not body shaming. Because it cancel. I don't have any issue with it. Good. You think it's sexy? Just saying, you could be Santa Claus. I could. Come to your house. Do you a gift? Got a ruling on this? I'm gonna oh, shit in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting canceled. But, so whatever the movie, oh, 
Santa Claus Chronicles. Wait, what about, uh, what is it? The, uh, the, uh, fucking Polar Bear Express? Is that what's called? Uh, Polar Express. Polar Express. That's a good one. Second one would be Best Man Holiday. Did not see I don't that. remember that. I don't even know if I know what that is. Okay. Was it like BC? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never, you never saw the Best Man, Best Man Holiday? I don't know. They're coming out? Well, it's going to be a TV show on Peacock now. No, who's in that? Well, Peacock's pretty cool. They got good shows on there. Online. There was something I just watched recently. On Did that. you see Bad Guys? My I kid loves watch that. that. Every morning, fucking funny. it's it's what our flex box that's like right up there. And it's like Bad Guys. <laughs> Where's the remote? Where's the remote? <laughs> you know what you guys gotta see? And I don't. Know, you probably didn't play the game Uncharted, but the movie's pretty good. So it's an action movie. I heard it wasn't great. I, I like I. Okay, I'm not gonna say I loved it. That's. But it was it was a good movie. It's going to be somewhere. It's going to be on Netflix. Or it is on it's, Netflix. On, um, it's on Netflix uh, now. Yes. Okay. Okay, so speaking of movies, action movie. Favorite action movie. That's a really tough one. Right. It's such a, I feel like it's such a broad genre. One for me is because of my dad. It's a Demolition Man. We used to okay. watch that together all the time. Okay. Um, he probably has no idea what that is. I know what it is. It's Wesley <laughs> Snipes. And is, is it Arnold? Get out. <laughs> yeah. No. No, which one is it? Which one is it? You get another chance. I'll get you another one. Wait. My, my, my second guess would be Stallone. There you go. Okay. I, so I, knew, it was, been your first I knew it was one of the two. They're the same person. <laughs> one just has an accent. What? <laughs> that. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What's the movie where they, they, they one played the other? Face Off. No, 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 no. Rambo. With, with the kid. And it was, it was like in a movie. Kenny Carter. Oh, my God. I don't know, actually. Like, Stallone was on, like, his, like, um, his covers and... Expendables. Oh, my God. What was the name of this movie? Before our time. The kid had, like, the magical ticket. Yeah, of course it's before your time. Willy Wonka. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. There's literally a movie about, a, like, the kid, them being in a movie and it came out of the movie and... Uh... Oh, that actually sounds familiar, but I don't know what you're talking about. That mirror at, uh, Elm Street. No. No. It wasn't, wasn't a That's movie. like Shazam. It doesn't exist. It'll come to me. Oh, he's, he's Googling. But so, It'll come to me. Die Hard might be my favorite action movie. But he's literally, he's, he's walking. Seems like a <laughs> no, no, no. He's literally walking Arnold through the movie store, and Stallone is on the cover of Terminator, I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Is it a Christmas movie or an action movie? No, it's not a Christmas movie. It's it's an action movie. Last Action Hero is the name of the movie. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, I've never seen not. it, but I know what you're talking about. You ever see Toy Soldier? Sounds familiar. But little soldier dude from the, the, Gorg, the Gorgonites or whatever it was, the Gorgons. A little. Oh, toy. Oh, yeah. Wait, is Toy Soldier? Is that what's going on? Or is it. Am I tripping? That's what it's, Why am I. Yeah. Toy Soldier, right? Yeah. Alright, back back to what you were doing. You're probably talking to those blue things. What is that? That's, those are, that's a great movie. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yes. I miss old movies. Like, now these movies just seem like. They're not bad. You know, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, this is more CGI driven than anything. But action well, movies, I would go Heat. Number one. Okay. You probably never saw it, Kyle. I know, I know what it is. It's Al Pacino. I know. <laughs> but, did you, but did you see it? No. Ah! <laughs> Very Got good him. movie. But I own all these movies. Al Pacino, naming. Robert De Niro, they probably have one of the most iconic scenes together in that I, movie. I just want you to know, all these movies, I own them. Just haven't watched them. He buys movies. He let me with video games. He just buy them. I have 2,400 movies. He's watch them! Like, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, they'll wreck a movie, movie like love to us. Yeah. <laughs> you guys loved that. God. Your favorite scene ever was the opening scene. No, it wasn't. All of it was. I That's it literally all. as far as I made it in that movie. I didn't go any further. And he was, was like, like, he's like, nothing else can live up to this. I quit no, now. No. I put bleach my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you miss and you cut your hair. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> That's how this all happened at the bottom. How about the movie that like rubs you a certain way and it kind of just Whatever. stuck with you for a while? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Close. <laughs> no, but like you watched it and then like for days it was like in your head and it just like. So, good I or mean, bad, either way, you know. I'm saying you gotta give me more categories because Waterboy is one of those movies. I, I love Waterboy. So you mean like funny wise or. No, like, I mean like it, it like affected you. Like. Yeah. Like made you. Like you had. Like. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Okay. Mine was uh, Butterfly Effect. Ooh, that's good, good choice. I've seen that one. Good choice. You got that? What? I've Holy seen that one. Holy shit. Well, because we were watching Alphabetical Order, and it's B. So. Oh. <laughs> Bs. I got to. B. 
<laughs> Bees. What do you know? <laughs> Cars been that came full circle, guys. <laughs> Cars been All the way around with that loop, right? <laughs> It's favorite movie by the B movie. <laughs> I actually don't hate the B movie. What's up with Rice? There's What's a, the deal with Rice? There's, there's one movie, but then there's two scenes from separate television shows that stuck with me. So the movie is in Kanto. Yeah, I know. You know how that shit affected me. Um, then the two shows, one's a scene from Game of Thrones, one's a scene from Walking Dead. I don't think... You know about the Walking Dead one. You guys don't care about Walking Dead. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. This is gonna be a random one. question. I, I know I said gooey bad, but it's about food. You guys ever had like a a meal? Where yeah, I'm done like, talking. No, nah, I'm just saying it's like it's not like brunch. Like you get like a good meal and you get like a cantaloupe with it. It's good. Is it brunch? What is it called? Brunch? You get a cantaloupe with yeah. it. Yeah, you get a you get a good meal at the end of it. <laughs> so as you were saying anyway anyway that's so, 10 seconds we're not getting back in our lives but, never uh, and i'll take more i was trying to get the laugh so you did it terribly was, yeah, you, yeah. you guys didn't so get the memo okay. like so the, the scene from walking floor. dead you're not gonna watch walking dead are you i died watching you okay first episode i kept falling asleep okay so i tried it five times the scene where negan kills um glenn I seen that. That stuck in my head forever. That's when he like him in the hills. Yes. Yeah, I seen that. And then there's a similarly gruesome scene in the fourth season of Game of Thrones. I won't spoil anything. Somebody dies. You can spoil That's it. That's not a spoiler. Uh, I, he I, wants to watch it at some point. What no. Game of Thrones? Oh, you don't want to watch Game of Thrones? I, I, I don't. You don't care? No, nah, yo. All right. So when the mountain kills Oberyn, he literally sits on top of him and squeezes his head until his head explodes. Yo, did you guys ever seen um uh Invincible? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The 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 cart the animated one the oh, wait, the, no. uh, we're no. talking about the Eagles movie. Yeah, I thought you were that talking was, about. That was a great movie. No, because you just said the scene that and are you going to watch it cuz I don't want to Invincible. Yeah. If it's a cartoon, cartoon no. Okay. So, and you I mean, I'm not it. opposed to it. I would watch it. But... I mean, Derek might eventually want to watch so... it. This is a kid Thing. No, know. do not watch this with your son. Was it, is it anime? It's an American cartoon. This is also so. the same kid that watched eighties like mon- like truck movies that killed people. And he I'm going to explain this to you why. Him. So you guys seen the show The Boys, right? Some of it, yeah. Imagine there's an animated version of that. Okay. So this is I forget what the superhero's name is, but he's kind of like Superman. So oh, man. no, oh, you're, no talking, you're talking about from Invincible. Oh, okay. Fucking dick, but yeah. So. They're like they had like a meeting. He set the meeting up with their whole crew, and he ends up screwing them over. So he's getting ready like to punch one of the guys, and there's a, a guy. He's like the Great Value Flash. So he moves and starts. Omni Man. I, I mean, yeah, Pat so, couldn't read that. I was, yeah, I was struggling. So uh, <laughs> he moves them out the way, and they're all fighting or whatever. And all of a sudden, he grabs him. I mean, he grabs him, and the Flash is like trying to fight him. He grabs his head and slowly starts to squeeze it. And, like, you see the flash, like, punching and punching, and all of a sudden his mm. hands just start slowing down. And then his arms just drop, and then he squeezes his brain and explodes. That shit fucked with me for a while. That shit stuck with me. So that's that's kind of what happened in Game of Thrones. Yeah. So there's, like, a scene where they're fighting. Uh, basically, one of the characters nominated Oberyn to fight for him to get him out of trouble. Um, and he's, he's winning, but the mountain had, like, raped and murdered his sister. So he just wanted him to admit that he had done that and, like, who, like, the royal family had convinced him to do it. Mm-hmm. And he got too cocky and the guy jumps on top of him. He's like, I'm the mountain. They told me to do it. I raped your sister. I killed your sister. And then, like, crushes his head. So it's, like, real deep and effed up. And Wasn't there sisters and brothers fucking in that show mm-hmm. and then a little kid got pushed out the window because he saw him fucking? Yes, the Lannisters. Yeah, all types of things, huh? Yes. But, uh, so Bran gets pushed off. He's a little kid when it starts. He ends up being one of the most important characters in the whole thing. I mean, he's literally the reason everything happens. Hmm. I don't know. I thought it was Starbucks. I gave it an episode or two. I couldn't do it. Michelle made it a little further throughout season one. And she was, Game of Thrones? Yeah. Well, I did where I bought the whole series, and I was like, I'm watching it now. <laughs> so. Well, you probably spent like 100 hours on this whole thing, right? No, I bought them all used after you know, they had all been out. You didn't watch anything else, so he bought, you know, just. Yeah. And then I rewatched it at the start of COVID. I binge watched the whole like all seven seasons in a week and a half. Is there a favorite sports movie that you guys like? Um, I feel like I answered this, and now it's Hustle's up there now. That's a good movie. 
Mm. Um, Waterboy's up there. Classic. The Longest Yard <laughs> with Adam Sandler. Great. Was up there. So Waterboy twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Remember the Titans is not in my top five. It's not. I don't know why. Please, not, I mean, I'll not top five, but very good. I'll put it in the top five. Oh, it's not in the top three, but it's the top five. Okay. So, oh, you. I'm trying to think. I know there's another one in there somewhere that I can't think of. Sandlot's up there. Phil Dreams. Stop. Wait. Just look at him. What is he about to say? He's never watched it. You never watched that movie. I didn't say that. You didn't say that you but did. You, you, you didn't say you didn't. <laughs> so, all right, let's ask him. I plead the fifth. <laughs> no, Space Jam doesn't make a top five for me. Because, again, I didn't watch it until later, so it didn't have the same effect on me. I don't know. That's, that's a hard one. There's a lot of good sports movies. Major League, one of the better yeah. ones I've seen. I just okay. saw that recently. One and two. I didn't see the second one. What's the one that uh, Chad with? But also, t- uh, 40, 42. What yeah, that, 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 again. Forty cent. That was called. Yeah, yeah. It's Jackie yeah, Robinson. Yeah, that was really so good. Ted Lasso is essentially a drawn out television version of Major League. Who is Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso. It's a show on, on Apple TV where the own the owners of the football club, the Richmond Football Club, they soccer. get divorced. It was soccer in England. <laughs> they they get divorced, and she is now in charge. She knows her husband loves the soccer club more than anything in, in the world. So she wants to screw the club over, so he's miserable. So what a petty bitch. So she hires, um, <laughs> she hires Ted Lasso, who was like an amateur football coach from Kansas, to come over and American he's football. Yes, and he's gonna just like destroy <laughs> I love the thing you. unknowingly, gonna <laughs> like run this franchise into the ground. So she hires him to fuck up the correct, the, which is this, which is the plot of Major League, but baseball. Yeah, I don't know the coach's name in Major League. Right, but in Major League, it's also movie. super racist. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of movies back then were. Have you yeah. seen, have you seen Major League? I, is that the one they say you don't cry, no cry in baseball? Is that no? no that, that's uh, that's uh, a, League of Our, League. a League of Their Own. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. there's also a te- there's a new movie, a I remake. Don't, of. I don't know if I've seen Major League. It's pretty good. It's got Charlie Sheen in it, Wesley Snipes. Wow, saying yeah. I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Sheen was the best part of the whole movie, in my opinion. Charles Cena was cool. I just was. posted a review of it the other day. Now he has that. I know. Yeah, kind of has that love story with um. Tiger Blood. What's her name? And Rene Russo. Yeah, Rene Russo and Burn. Burn. Whatever his name is. I know. I can't think of what his. I can see his face. I can't think of what his yeah. name is. Why you drink that? Why you drink like a teacher? Because I'm a teacher. <laughs> You're not in class right now. It's okay. to take regular. I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies. I thought I was about to get a lesson. You about to say to open your books or some shit? I don't know. Tom Burr, 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 Tom Burgundy, Ron Burr, Ron Burr, 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 Come on, go! Hey, hey. Fine, I'm gonna do it. Breaking, breaking the rules. Breaking bad over breaking there. Breaking the rules. I'm breaking. Oh, I'm wow! Gonna, you know what? Look I'm it up, Elvis. We'll, look, look, look at it. We'll take, we'll take a break, and then we'll come back. You just, just remember what you're doing, because I know we oh, all. I know here. what it is. We'll see what you're doing. So yeah, let's take a little break. And then we'll you ready? Take a quick break. Right, let's take a break. Fuck it. Tom Berenger. Rob Brady. I love Lip. Well, you got something? No. All right, we'll no. be back. Peace. <laughs> I must not think Steve died. <laughs> you thought he was fucking sleeping. No, <laughs> that would be funny as shit. He lasted three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring us back. All right. Welcome back. <laughs> the cinema am. Did that say titties? That's what I thought. Oh, you fucked up. It was your turn. What? He said, welcome back. I said, the cinema Ev. Pick up sticks. F- what episode <laughs> are we on? What fucking episode is this? 15. Are you sure? I am. <laughs> okay, cool, because I'm not. <laughs> that rhymes with pick up sticks. It does. Not. <laughs> Don't you have it somewhere over here? It's in there. Okay. We said it so many times on the show, but I edited it up. All right. It is why is the audio not doing anything right now? It is. Look at it. No, I know. Fuck you me. fucking fuck. <laughs> You're freaking freak. That's so mean. All right. Toys or no toys? 
Oh. That's right. Think about that question. <laughs> Toys. I know, 60. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, you guys are, you know, Toys. what are you talking about? <laughs> when it comes to, you know, doing things with others, so this is yours. 100% toys. I have my own. Yeah, toys are no toys. If you're counting my own, like, no. no. I a never have. And a woman come together. You never had Sometimes they hang out with each other in the bedroom. And they... Unfamiliar with this. No, don't do Okay, I'm trying to get out of places. I understand. I'm a virgin. Eggnog. Never had eggnog. You don't add eggnog. You don't use toys. Right, you so don't I, watch movies. I don't like milk, and it's a similar consistency to milk, so I've avoided it because I get the it. fuck I out. Eat. I hate milk. Eggnog. Toys. I'm keto. Okay. You're a keto. Yeah. You <laughs> know. No. So the question to us is like, we're yeah. the only two normal people here that have like, we're really unhealthy, but we have normal diets. He vegan. Like, not, well, he likes eggnog. He just doesn't. No, but he said he's keto. They're on weird diets. Oh, That's yeah. Oh, me and you? He said he's keto. Yeah, keto. I'm Pato. He's keto. Yeah. I don't know. Because my middle name is on Twitter. Oh. So keto. I could see it, right? Because that was, that was, that was a real bad for us. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what, what's the O stand for? Did I even say that right? Is it Con Keto? It's not like some martial arts you're trying to do. I don't know. <laughs> My middle name is an O, as an O'Neill. Someone watches this is probably. Geppetto. Right. Pedo. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm just saying. Sometimes people have some freaky shit. You know. So here's a. This is a weird question. Why is it pedophile? But when we, when we just put P E D O, it's pedo. Nobody goes. He's a pedo. Why? I have a better question. Why is this question happening? Because <laughs> Carter wrote. Pedo on the board. <laughs> and you said it, apparently. I said, Pat O. I said, you said your name is Pedo. I said, Pato. Pat. You sound like an Italian character from a movie. Now you're just being racist. <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're not racist. <laughs> Got a point. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I don't know. That's weird. That's like American English, am I right? That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, I understand it. Why do you park on driveways and drive on parkways? You know, right. you can... there's got to be a reason why. I don't know. Yeah. Why are you building a building when it's already built? That's called a building. It's already built. You're not doing it. It's already there. Shut up, Pat. I have a question for you, though. It's a legitimate question. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's gonna be. So I mean, stupid this thing is clearly black, but it says blue. Right? Snowball ice. There's black ice. Very dangerous. Yeah, All right. It's, anyway, it's go ahead. not really black. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what do you call an educated dinosaur? I feel like you said this before. Go ahead. Tell me again. A thesaurus. <laughs> Spell thesaurus. That's a special word that me and your mom would use. Like, oh. when we get safety. It's a safe word. <laughs> Why are fish so easy to weigh? Why are they so easy to what? Weigh. Fish. Why? Because they come with their own scales. <laughs> that throw... <laughs> That's like a borderline dad joke. Right! Borderline. Yeah, do you have any dad jokes? I borderline hate him. Apparently I said one the other day and I don't remember it at well, all. Well, Michelle was like, right. yeah, that's... Technically... Is that dad Ooh, wait, all I got one. I got one. He, all the jokes he tells are dad jokes. Fair enough. What do you call a cop who's sleeping in bed? <laughs> Undercover. I hate you so much. I was told it's called Pick It a Blanket. <laughs> I was like, oh. damn. <laughs> <sighs> I have a lot more, but just, let's just. Yeah. I do not approve that message. Hey, man, look. I didn't make up a joke. I just. Undercover cops funny to me. So. Undercover brother. There's. There's. <laughs> 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 There's an episode Another of movie he's probably never seen. Right? <laughs> what is it? Undercover, Undercover brother? brother? No, I have not yeah, seen it. Of course. You ever seen Friday? Yeah. Have you seen Saturday? There's no Saturday. There's three Friday Sunday? movies. I've seen all three Friday movies. Hey, which one's your favorite one? The first one. Absolutely classic. Yeah. Third one, I don't think I liked very much. Favorite character? They just kind of got worse as they went. I I can't remember names, but I think that my favorite was probably Chris Tucker. Smokey? Yeah. Okay. Favorite character? Yes. Well, yeah. That's the 
It was Smokey the- or Debo. De- I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Debo, me- I thought Debo was so annoying. You ever watch movies with Carter? It is the funniest shit ever. Cause <laughs> we're watching Friday, and Debo just you know he pulls up boom 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 boom, and Carter starts dying laughing. He's like, "Why does he have menacing music <laughs> when he pulls up the place?" <laughs> Stop acting like a bitch. No, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Stop beating a bitch. Come on. <laughs> Roll the dice. You know, it's a... My pops is tripping today. Yeah. Day. He just on a bike and shit. Oh. You, you, oh, know, you know us. <laughs> we wouldn't trip. Oh, I just saw another movie with... Uh, with oh! Why are you putting shit at him, though? Yeah, I just saw another movie with John Witherspoon in it. John Witherspoon's the dad. Yes. Well, you made, you gave me a look like... What movie? Oh, The, the Ladies Man. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Just saw that for the first time. You ever see a uh, Players Club? No. Okay. Don't even know what that is. All right. No. Okay. You seen Ladies Man with Tim? Not Edwards? Ladies Man, but yes, Players Club. Oh, he's good. Uh, maybe, maybe I've. Seen, I don't know. Who else is in it? Uh, Tim he Meadows, needs to come on the show Williams, more often because he watches movies. Um, the chick that played Hillary in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yep. Bang! 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 What's bang. her What's her name? Hillary. No, what's her actual name? The chick. Carter's on it. He's on it. Look at him. Oh, I know what it is, too. It's such an easy name. Clisha. He's Clisha, though. Yeah, Karen Parsons. That's what I said. I said Clarissa. He's Clisha, though. Yes. Uh, Who else? Celebrity crush. (laughs) Celebrity crush? (laughs) At what age? <laughs> Let's just go through the whole list. So Steph did say something the other day, like it has changed throughout time. Yeah, like, throughout, yeah. like even like week to week sometimes. Yeah. There's a few. The one that always comes to mind, you guys watch Food Network? Mm-hmm. Jada. She knows best. And uh you ever seen the Rachel girl? Ray. No, she does nothing for me. I mean, I just, she, she had a little something in the beginning, uh, in the beginning but not, not, not today. No. Jada today still has it. But yes. Rihanna? Yes. Mm-hmm. Y'all some fucking haters. Rihanna's bad. Um, who was the one that I said? Kyla Pratt? Was that a few, a few weeks ago? You said, no, the, the chick who played in, uh, who played uh, the child's sister. In, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kyla Pratt is bad too, though. Toronto, uh, Letitia Wright. Florence Pugh. Um... You've seen Girl Next Door? Yes. Alicia Cuthbert. Holly Berry. She never really did it for me. Like, I don't think she's unattractive at all, but she was, I didn't think she was, like, as incredible as everybody said she was. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I don't think, by no means is she unattractive, but it just wasn't. Do we just know? You think my Mary Flank BC they just. Oh, <laughs> Tom Brady. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> Carter, Lizzo, <laughs> that's fucked up, dog. Truth hurts. <laughs> they said you got. Hey, Lizzo's doing her thing. She, she is. I seen her do a promo for uh, what's that bike tour? The uh, Peloton. Yeah. All right, so that's good. So uh, the big thing for a while was like people were. Why you say big? That's fucked up, yeah, man. nothing. Uh, <laughs> so the thing was not the big thing, just the thing. There you go. Um, Medium sized thing. Um, <laughs> I'm about to go home. <laughs> uh, congratulations. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Magic um, bitches. <laughs> so the thing was, yes, yeah, she was promoting like uh, being happy with your body, regardless of what you are. But some Hayek. Sorry. Go ahead. The reality is, she's probably not super healthy. That was the thing that people were saying she like she should try to get in slightly better shape so she's healthy. It's great that she's happy. No, I'm breaking down to you, but I get what you're saying. But some people who are bigger are still healthy. That's, that's just their body that's type. Not, you're not wrong. Yeah, it's the body type. That's all. Right. But I just seen her eat Oreos with mustard, and to me, that's not what you want. But if that's yeah. what she wants to do. No, on her free time. But some high got old. Some high got better. Like she's like wine. She just that's no. She she did nothing for me in Eternals. You don't watch movies. <laughs> I just named a movie with her in it. That, first of all, that movie did nothing for me at all. Oh, I didn't dislike the movie. I didn't like the movie. But I also to go play Tomb Raider. Not a well, Angelina Jolie, of course, but the new one. Yeah. Oh, Alicia Vikander is that her name? Hmm. I'd take Angelina Jolie over her any day. I would take Angelina Jolie over most people any day. Been good. 
Yes. Okay. She's gonna be in Shazam again. I think she's gonna have a big role in Shazam this time. Yes. Because you know how at the end of the first one they all had like their superhero versions. I think they're gonna have bigger roles. Are we, are we back to this movie that never existed? Okay. What you no, got? different question. It's different Shazam. Betty White. No. Would I do Betty White? No, I said so many questions for him because he's she's dead. But she's he's old, so I just. I, I mean, if you want. He's to... not dead. That don't mean she's not like. Okay, so you could say I think Whitney Houston's attractive or was attractive. I mean, Aubrey Hepburn, you know. Exactly. You don't know who that is. Of course not. He's a young buck. Look at him. I don't know who that is. When a man and a woman come together. What movie have you watched with her in? I don't know. Okay, then there you go. Off the top of my head, I don't know, but I've definitely seen something with her in it. What's she in? I just said I don't know. Come on. Kathy Bates. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Yeah. I would just see if I would be doing one. Yeah. I know yo, Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates is cool as she's shit. She's a mother from the Water Boy. She was in Misery. I she's know a Kathy Bates. phenomenal actress. She's a great though. actor. Yeah. She's, Kathy... she's really good in Misery. Yeah. I've yeah. seen that movie. That shit was wild. You seen that one? Mm-mm. Yeah, so shut it up. Must be a B rated movie. No, it was James Caan and Kathy Bates, and he is a writer, and he decides to stop writing his book, mm-hmm. and he gets in a car accident. Mm-hmm. And she, his biggest fan, finds him, mm-hmm. like, can't move. Put him in a he's bed. Done a review on this. I have not. <laughs> Give me the board. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> now you have the trajectory. Tr- <laughs> <laughs> so All sad. you have now is laughter. Okay. <laughs> he's so if sad. You laugh, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. You laugh out loud. You can have the board back. <laughs> he's Just so sad. Use, the, use the PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> Take your board. I feel bad. I'm gonna throw it to you. Don't throw it. No. Give him the board back. All is better now. So what? Okay. Why? What makes you attracted to these actresses? Actresses. Okay. Well, physically attractive. Nineties. But like what? (laughs) Would you say Sarah Michelle Gellar or Jennifer Love Hewitt? Nineties. Jennifer Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hewitt. What did you just say? Jennifer Love Hewitt. That did not sound like what you just said. Are you? What are you? what, What is that in that cup? What are you drinking over there? Coffee. Okay. <laughs> they were also ones, again, they're attractive, but didn't really do a whole lot for me. Uh, Mila Kunis. I love the way you say her name. You love the way I say her name? Yes, Why? I do. Why? Say her name again. Mila Kunis. Just leave it at that. So stop making yes, a, attractive. Stop making fun of my speech impediment. All right? I speak her, weird. Her and Natalie Portman. Bonnet, bitch. <laughs> her and Natalie Portman. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen Black Swan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure you did. But man, I like Mila Kunis, right? That's how you struggle. That's where it started. Oh, yeah. I think Hanging that's where she got her start. Just down the street. She had her first kiss on the set. She was doing the same thing as she did last week. Yeah, her, not, not a thing to do. Her kiss with Kelsa was her actual yeah. first kiss. Yeah. And she was like 13. She lied about her age. Did she, not right? I think it was, she was slightly older than that, she right? Was, she was a teenager, she, but I don't think she was that young. No, she lied about her age to get on the show. Right? Yeah, but that's I, why they broke up on the show. Yeah, I know she was a teenager, but I don't think she was 13. I think she was like maybe 15 or 16. So, who else is there? We're going to get canceled because we're just sitting here rating women. Uh, Finding them attractive. I didn't say who. I didn't. You know that game people play? Oh, marry one, fuck one, kill one, whatever. I hate the new thing where they're like, she's a 10, but she does this. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's so stupid. Well, I, I, honestly, I don't like any of the trends. I don't know. I don't do trends. The only one I enjoyed were they were like, She's a 10, but she has superpowers. She's 11. Like, you get it. If you could date a chick who has superpowers, who would you date? Like, I have to pick a superhero. Uh, I have literally. to pick a superhero. <laughs> like, literally. Not like, I, not like based on the superpower. I have to pick, like, a specific superhero. You know what I'm saying? You're making this very complicated. Just answer the question. I'm, just, I'm trying. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what I'm answering. Um... So are you saying are you saying as in the aspect of a, a woman and you would give her a superpower? Or are you no, saying, I'm saying like if I had to, sure, sure. If you want to say it that well, way, always. If you could date a superhero who happens to be a woman or a man, whatever you want to do, who would you pick? And if you could date, I don't a chick, like that you said that. Hey, what? I got to be across the board. Whatever you want to do, I don't judge nobody. Everybody, you know, twenty twenty. Seem judging. Not over here. Mm. I'm more of a do you live your life thing. That's not, that's how it works. Well, superhero. Just based on my previous answers. I would have to say Angelina Jolie. Super. Oh, right, yeah. She, was she played Athena in Eternals. Okay. <laughs> I 
honestly, Lucy Wallace is not a bad looking person. No, and that's not this. I'll explain the whole thing later on. This, this is a Simpsons reference, too. Yeah. So you notice how he didn't say Xena. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm trying to think. A couple that came to mind. I, come on, there's an obvious answer for you. Gal Gadot? No. Hey. Storm? No. She doesn't have superpowers, though. But she's considered a superhero. Yelena? Yes. No, yeah, that works. I feel like that was the obvious answer for you. I said superpowers, so she's not really a superhero, but that works. She's considered a superhero. Black Widow's considered a superhero. Hawkeye's considered a superhero. Mm, there's the cons- difference between hero and they're superhero. They're all considered superheroes, though. In the MCU, they're considered superheroes. All right, fine. If you had to go DC, MCU. No, matter of fact, you go first. Would you superhero? Any? I know you don't watch stuff like that. Well, I'm more of a... I mean, I wouldn't say a DC fan, okay. but I... Like DC movies more than Marvel so movies. Like Cowboy. the only Marvel movies I actually do like are the Avenger ones. That's it. I don't like okay, any of the so other side projects. There's superhero you know, women in the Avengers. They're literally all in there. So pick a woman. Captain Marvel or whatever she is. Brie Larson. Yeah. Gal Gadot. Ooh, That's fair. Yeah, Gal Gadot. I forgot, I forgot about her. <laughs> That's DC. If I had to pick DC, Gal Gadot. Oh Gal yeah. Gal Gadot. Yeah. Are there any other people to pick? And DC oh, right Catwoman. Now? What's her name? Um, oh, yeah, you'd have to go back. No, you can go forward. The girl who played Catwoman now. Oh, Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, she's, she's gorgeous. Okay. What else? What, the new Batman? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that one? Yeah, it was... You didn't like it? I mean, oh, that's right. You said you didn't like it that much. Uh, I mean, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just, I don't know. I think it's my favorite Batman. Mm, no. So what you say to Batman is your answer. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know they canceled the Batwoman movie, right? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, which is ridiculous. They filmed like a bunch of scenes. It was basically done, and they decided they thought it was wasn't going to do well. So, do you have a favorite superhero and hero woman? I don't know the break the two down. My favorite superhero is Iron Man. Okay, and that's because Robert Downey Jr. did such a fantastic job. He did. He's such a terrible. Man, everybody has to tell their own opinion. Even no, all... no, he's not. Okay. It's not an opinion. It's just straight fact. You think it's a terrible actor? Yes. You don't get any more. That's fine. These are for us now, okay? <laughs> if you'd like some, please let me know. I'll give you some. <laughs> that <don't even> sense. <laughs> I mean, he belongs in movies like Due Date because he's just an asshole. Well, he's also an asshole in the Marvel movies. And Sherlock Holmes. I didn't see Sherlock Holmes. He did a great job in uh, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Like He's racist. <laughs> I'm just a dude playing a dude scrap like a dude. Um, what else is he in? Oh, he did a great job as um, Charlie Chaplin in a biopic. Really, really good. I feel like if I had to pick my favorite superheroes, there's more than one. It's kind of hard for me. Deadpool, definitely. You have to, you have to pick one, definitively. Deadpool. Male superhero, Deadpool. Female superhero, I like, uh, what's your name? Yelena. Super powered hero. Okay, super powered hero. I would go with uh uh Miss Marvel. Not Captain Marvel, but Miss Marvel. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Based on the show or just Yes. Okay. Now based on is Who's Miss Marvel? She has a new show on Disney Plus that came out two months ago, maybe. Because it's it's like it's just to me it's just dope how the the one who's playing her character is so literally how she's alive. Brie yeah. Lawson. This no, is not Brie Larson. That's Captain Marvel. This is... Uh, Camille Khan. <coughs> no, yeah. What's her real name? Is, uh, Iman. Iman. Shumpert. No. It's not Shumpert. He's a basketball player. I like you. You're just like, yeah. I thought I nodded my head. In my, in my brain, I was like, that's not right. But, <laughs> no, you, but I already committed you, to not. I had, had a double down to no, it. No, Iman Shumpert's a basketball player. I had a double down with it. It was already too late. Slash rapper now. And he's actually not bad. Who, Master P? Yeah. <laughs> um... You know, she's a little bit older than I thought she was. Yeah. She's turned 20. Yeah. I thought she was, like, legit 15 I or 16. I thought she was, like, 16 or 17, yeah. yeah. But whatever. That's yeah. fine. What faces are you making? <laughs> Seems like it's I have no little, idea what's going on. a little on. awkward here. She looks good, but y'all thought she was 15. No, no, no. You what, did it. Nobody <laughs> said she looked good. Yeah. I don't know. No, he said that that was his favorite superhero. Okay. Not, I got you. Appreciate you. It's a mess well, We have it on film, so. That's fine. <laughs> you save yourself. He's never coming back. Yeah, you're trying to get us on some battles. Nah, dog. She's pretty. I think she's pretty. But it's not, I'm not one of. Oh, man. 
I'm working on two cancellations and a laughter here. So. Well, <laughs> I ain't getting canceled because I don't say shit like that. Bam. <laughs> Bam. Stop doing that. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Fucking murder you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carter wakes up dead. <laughs> you know. We're getting there. You know what happens? I guess we're working on this one now. This one, it's almost. I think kill him with kindness. I have a knife. Pat will be canceled. I have a knife. This name kindness. <laughs> so All right, I have a question. Me. Okay. As far as your careers go, if there was somebody that could mentor you, who would you who would you pick? Ooh, look at that crazy question. Nobody has an answer to. Think about that. I really, it's not a really stupid answer. Arnold Schwarzenegger from Kindergarten Cup. <laughs> well, I'm a service advisor in automotive, so <laughs> not really too many Dominic movies about Toretta. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That would be the worst one. Yeah. He'd just yell, I am Groot the whole time. Yep. <laughs> well, I have two answers. Uh... I'll go with Kevin Hart and Dylan Washington. For well, what? Well, I'm a huge fan. I almost had a really mean joke. <laughs> if I win it. <laughs> I'm going to explain why. Our mom says that our dad is a real sex machine. As you know, I'm a director. Any director at this, at this moment. But. You're a director? Yeah. Oh, shit. I think so. Didn't you. know that. <laughs> you watch my shit. Have you made movies? Uh. <laughs> That was you with the, you the, don't watch. The, the stick figure thing we were watching. No, you haven't. <laughs> you don't want to watch them. So. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> what was our safety word? I forget. Sorceress. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I look up to Kevin Hart a lot. It's funny because he's shorter than me. But because it's a hustle. Like, Kevin Hart, like, he did what he needed, he worked hard and did what he needed to do. And not only that, but he also got his friends on also. Like, he put himself in a situation to help his friends out. Kevin Hart or Cat Williams? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. 100%. Cat Williams. Cat Williams is funny as shit. Don't Cat get me wrong. Cat Williams never really did anything. Okay, me. let's quit the bullshit. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. No, I'm still going Cat. I like Cat Williams. I, I'm weird when it comes to comedy and stand-up. I generally yes, don't like it at all. Why, why uh, Cat Williams? Just... He's hilarious to me. They look similar. He doesn't have hair. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just staying off facts. <laughs> and he's a little bit lighter. The cat I was say, <laughs> he's like, what, 5'6", 120 pounds soaking is, wet? Is he that short? I don't know. He looks short to no, me. No, his is Mike Tyson. That's who he is. <laughs> he's going to teach you how to box. <laughs> you know what? Would you be, if and you it, had to get trained to box, see, Mike see, Tyson or see, Floyd? You know what? You know what? No, you, you know what? Fuck all that right now. Okay. <laughs> So no, I just, say it right in the camera. Right, 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 right now. We are, say. You know what? You even got someone else saying that, oh, you know, Mike Tyson will knock him out. I just, you know, finished that episode today on, you know, who, on the way home. Who said that? Oh, Gerald? Yeah. 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 Well, he's right. Well, no, yeah. he's not. Okay. So, all right. I'm going to say into the camera. This is Steve calling out Mike Tyson. You're a bitch. <laughs> that was a little more forward than I expected, but okay. Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm a huge fan of Mike Tyson. I don't want no beef with you. Right here. But if you come to the podcast, be right here. Steve just made himself dizzy doing that, so be careful. Call him Glass Jaw Joe. You know what I mean? Just, just boom. no, because you know what? Because when I eat this punch, oh, and it's gonna happen. He's gonna eat it. Mike, He's gonna eat it. Mike. Are you gonna put like sauce on it? Right here, Mike. Right there. Is I'm that gonna eat this punch. I'm gonna eat the punch. Where are you pointing to? What are you gonna punch? Go like this? Because he's probably gonna hit me right here, and I'm fine with it. You can. <laughs> you committed to it. You're going to eat your nose. It's gonna no, come out your mouth. I'm not. If I, I may stumble back. If I'll he, give him that. If, I might stumble back a little bit. I am he, not falling to the ground. If he you in the nose, he, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit you, your brain. So when I get die. past this death-defying moment that everybody thinks is going to happen, spit, go out your forehead. I'm going to find something for both of you to do. Well, no, because we're not dumb enough to... Mike Tyson, you no, can no, kill no, 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 all no. Of it's us. not gonna be Mike Tyson. You know, well, one, well, of, well, one of you might have to do like a triple cork flip. You know, often you know Niagara Falls. As or something, you guys but, said, but earlier, again, I'm fat. I <laughs> can't do that stuff. I'm not claiming I can do it. I know my limits. It's all right. All right, yeah, I got you. You got it. Okay. If he takes a punch, Mike Tyson and doesn't die or falls out until four days later, you have to get like, John Claw Van Damme kick you in the chest. Boom. Why? <laughs> that's just, that's what we're doing. I don't think that I can handle that. I think you can do it. 
It's a, it's I a, don't. It's a con- controlled kick. Fine, Jackie Chan. No. Bruce Lee. I don't want to let you kick me in the chest. I'm not going to You can't even lift your leg that high. <laughs> you want to test it out? <laughs> the shit out to me. You, you got you to live a little here, Kyle. All right, so that's what he's doing. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's why I don't <laughs> want John Claude Van Damme kick me in the chest. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably just as old as Tyson. It's not going to hurt. He might be older than Tyson. Let it go. Fine, so let me once I punch you in the face. Fine. Why do I have to? I'm not saying I can do these things. Floyd can't even hit hard. Right, we'll find out what I have to do. All right, so we're going to have Floyd <laughs> and Mr. Tyson on at the same time. You think you can handle them both? I didn't say I can handle them both. I just you, said he can't hit them. I would well, say wait, Tyson hits on. harder than Floyd. We'll find oh, out what sure. I got to do to get back. That'd be silly to think otherwise. I'm just playing that yet. Uh, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm All right, so what Floyd, is happening? Floyd's I'm, gonna I'm, punch you in the nobody's face. Nobody's punching me in the face. Tyson's gonna punch me in the face. Okay, the reality is that he's not gonna be able to. I'm gonna wrestle a cat. He's gonna be a vegetable <laughs> after Mike Tyson punches him. Brock Lesnar is gonna punch him in the face. The fuck no! Exactly. Now, now what? you get it. Give me somebody else. Don't pass yourself. <laughs> She's about to die. Betty White can punch me in the face. Betty White's dead. Exactly. All right, All right Kelly, you gotta punch you in the face. <laughs> What's he punching in the face with? <laughs> we, we got Debo coming for him. Gold. You're going to do it. Bees. Boom. I w- <laughs> That's how it's going to go down. Keith's going to come running out. <laughs> with no teas. No, he won't have any teas left said. at that point. He's just going to be coming like, no, oh. dude. Is, that's a big dude now. Big dude. Big dude now. I mean, he's always big, but he's bigger now. Who? 50, 50 cents. He's a whole dollar. Didn't he like shrink down for some movie? Yeah, yes. that was a great movie. Yes, I didn't and nobody that. watched it. It was I, really good. I know what you're talking about, but I know. I, I heard of it, and then I just never... Everybody was like, oh, that was bad. I was like, no, it, it was a good yeah. movie. Was it ever on anything? TV. <laughs> <laughs> on the man. At the t- I don't, it was on... I, I seen it on I TV. Know. I remember it coming out, and I was like, oh... Yeah, know. I watched it. I like to say Get Rich or Die Trying was a great movie, too. I, I feel like everybody said You did not... Oh, oh my God. You seen Get Rich or Die Trying? You have seen, New York. seen that? Yeah, I've seen it. You're from New York. You ain't seen it? You haven't seen it? Good, thank you. Notorious? Uh, 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 we gotta sit <clears> this <throat> man down and just put him on some movies, man. Like, Give us that try. We can watch that. Why you look so like... John claude Van Damme didn't kick you yet. Why you look so I have, to, I have to burp and I'm trying not to. You, if like, he like, kicks you in the chest, you're going to burp. Blood. <laughs> but you'll burp. <laughs> But you burp. I'm not letting that so, happen. So, favorite rapper movie you would say is that? For me? Uh, favorite rapper movie? I can name one. Give it a shot. trying to 8 Mile. 8 Mile. Notorious. So, you, you, so you're saying 8 Mile. Yeah, because I haven't seen any others. Give it a shot. trying. And we'll find out what the fuck Kyle watches when we get back. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 15. Yeah, I sit in my ad. I'm sitting here with... Professor Xavier and Kingpin. Who's who? That's them too. I can't believe they had to say which one is which. Hmm. Oh, Professor Xavier. Well, actually, neither one of them wear glasses. Let's see. Let's see. You're older, so I'm gonna go. You're Xavier. You're more wise. You're diabolical, so you're Kingpin. Yeah. Good luck finding your stuff. All right. I wrote these. Wow. Congratulations for owning up to it. <laughs> <laughs> So now that that's done. So wait, what happened with the David situation? The Davy. <laughs> oh, Davy was just upset because I got him addicted to a show, Ted Lasso. Shout out to Jason Sudeikis. If you want to be on the show, that'd be fantastic. Apple, you're doing a great job with your movies and your television shows. Please sponsor us. Kevin Hart, come on, man. Get on the show, man. And if you want to sponsor that'd be cool. Williams. Kevin Williams, get on the show. Dave Chappelle. Kevin Hart, though. He'd be in Philly all the time, apparently. My sister was telling me the other day. Because I was like, I like Kevin Hart a lot. She was like, go to Philly. He's there all the time. I, I know that, but I didn't think he was, you know, you Hollywood now. I think He's an be. Eagles fan. Yo, did you see when you were the and shit? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I was in Philly. Definitely Philly right No, there. he's not. A Steelers fan. Are there Clearly. Any, are there any famous Steelers fans? I don't, think I don't so. know. I don't think anybody can. follow everybody's life. I don't know. Probably. So, like. Uh, that's not that. That could be my homework. I'll Mark know. Mark Cuban is from Pittsburgh. Doesn't like Pittsburgh football team or anything. No. Who's to him? Was he an Eagles fan? No. Well, he, he, do you know who Mark Cuban is? He's the dude who owns the, uh, the um, he owns this, what the fuck? Who is he Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Not the Mavericks. Is it not the Mavericks, Mavericks or it is the Mavericks? Mavericks. Mavericks? It is the Mavericks. Bam, bitch. He's also on Shark Tank. Yes, he is. Yes. He was also in The Simpsons. 
Was he? Yes. He's also the president in uh, Sharknado. I never watched Sharknado. I just I haven't it. seen it either. I Isn't didn't know that. I was literally yes. just about to ask. I'm going to watch it now. Watch Sharknado now. I haven't seen Sharknado. <laughs> because, Daryl Webb, thank you for being on the show. Because you were in it, I will watch Sharknado. Sponsor us. Please, Daryl. <laughs> if you could see me. We need it. Do you see what we have to deal with? Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I want to see the look on C's face when he actually comes out here one day. He'd be like, oh, I heard you was talking shit. <laughs> I believe it's about time, motherfucker. Let's go. No, if we, I'm gonna get a green screen so I can just make some Dragon Ball Z shit happen, like for the epic fight battle. Or something like that. You're not gonna need it. His head is gonna go flying in I feel real like time. We're not gonna catch it on camera because he's gonna be so fast. We're doing it. That's fine. I'm gonna have to do like a time stretch. What? Well, for those who don't know what that is, it's an effect that you can do in After Effects or Premiere to slow down the. Image. I was gonna ask, like, can you do it in After Effects or does it have to be something just, you do ahead of time? We're gonna like switch uh, Van Damme to Conor McGregor with him. That's what we're gonna do. Oof. That's I like Conor up. McGregor. I'm not gonna let him punch me though. I'm not stupid. What about Ronda? You don't have a choice. No. You gotta pick somebody to punch you. Why? Because he's fighting Tyson. Exactly. This is how it works. <laughs> this is not even kind I'm of. Not, how it first works. of all, I'm not fighting Tyson. No, you're you're being murdered by you Tyson. Get, uh, I'm taking a Florence. shot from Tyson. That's and what's gonna happen. Florence Florence hit him back. If he wants to. Florence, Florence Pugh, she can. Florence, she can hit me. That's fine. I'll take that. Yeah. I seen her Black Widow. She's dangerous. <laughs> Sound like you winked with your teeth. Yes, that's exactly what that was. That's how Keith winks. <laughs> you don't got no teeth. Both of your teeth. You got that one. You got the goopies. Sounds like two chicklets clicking together. <laughs> Yo, speaking of that, so the regular, legendary Steve, as we call him, he made us, his son Chris made us watch this movie. And it was with Goofy. It was like a YouTube channel. Goofy movie? No, it was Goofy was in court for murder. And the whole time his lawyer trying to get him off of murder. He's like, and Goofy's like, oh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> and he was like, I'll do it again. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? This shit was so funny. Like, he could he was like, Goofy, come here. <laughs> just stop talking. <laughs> just, just stop. We'll get you off. He was like, oh, but I did it. Do it again. <laughs> I was like, this is bad. And I was like, what are you kids watching it then? He actually knows this pretty well. Right. I had a lot of practice. You got to get Tom to do it. Yeah? Yeah. He's when are we getting them on? Tom and Ariel, when y'all coming on? No, last time I talked to them, they, were, they had... Okay, just so you know, they're not going to see this until, like, Christmas time. Yeah, well, Because you know. that's when it'll be available to the public. I'm not... We're not putting it out. <laughs> Boom, bitch! <laughs> bang, bang! I'm, I'm just doing that bad. We keep, you know, shouting out to other people that need to be here. And, Anybody you know. else? Upper Decker Steve, when he go? Oh, he's here. Look at that. Yeah. Why don't you have a shirt one that says, where's the... You should have a shirt where you're where's yelling. Where's the shit? Where's the shit? <laughs> you need, we need to make that a shirt. <laughs> or just like a, and like the a back toilet says, that's, you know... Upper Decker, decked. question mark? Yo, you had me cry. You was like, Pat, post the video. I was like, I don't have the keys to that. Oh, Kyle has to go abort the nah, like, <laughs> All of the guests, except for two, were because of me. I am not doubting any of those. <laughs> All I said is, I don't have the keys to upload the video. But you keep bringing it up. Kyle's got to do something. Feel important. <laughs> you say it to me all the time! Because <laughs> it's true about you. I edit! Film! <laughs> it's the location! <laughs> it's on a tripod. You're not filming shit. What are you doing? <laughs> I am the life and the personality of <laughs> Ah! You know what you do? Well, you did it. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, Every week. I don't remember the last time I knocked that oh, over. So that's why you called it Snowball. Yeah. <laughs> you just saw I called it Snowball for no reason. Well, all I see is blue on this side, so. He gets blue balls. <laughs> look at him. You look like a blue ball, you bitch. So. <laughs> Life is Back up. Get <laughs> 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 all constrained over here and shit. <laughs> Like, My test is gonna I feel like right. Keith on a Friday night. And you know what I'm saying. Gator done. <laughs> so question, do you, act, do you enjoy sitting there or would you rather sit somewhere else? I'd rather there be another table. Well, since you are a part of our cinema ad group. I'll work on it. You can bring us a table. I'll work on it. You should be our marketing You our should. Marketing. What are you doing? You're, you the, like the you're, you're the head of the fan club. Yeah. Okay. You're a, you're the lead cinemite. He said okay. You heard that. He, that he, I know. Well, we really I know the Cinemites, though. No, I don't love it, but it was the best thing we came up with. Yeah, well, yeah. We all right. Let's figure it out real quick. What we call them? 
Yo, because uh, I feel like we can't come up with any. Oh, I feel oh, like oh, they oh, have to come oh, up with any. Keith's got something. He was just, he's <laughs> thinking really hard about it. <laughs> he's like, <"Beast." laughs> Let me see that beat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's turn that back around. Turn that beat back around. You did it! Bam! I'll come for you, Trigger! <laughs> yeah, you all you did was switch the B. Yeah, you yeah, switched the B. Yeah, that's the same E, E, and S. You freaking yep. know how yep. the turntables yep. have, have turned. Yeah, all right, Keith. <laughs> what are you, a DJ? <laughs> that's from the office. Hey, mate. <laughs> Yeah, you over there, you freaking freak. You did the beat. You freaking freak. Yeah, you freaking freak. Frick and freck. Freak and freck. Yeah, you freaking. Could you back up a bit, Mr. Foot? Yeah, no. Know. No. So a cinema ave. So it's got to be something on the street, right? I mean, no? I live on an ave. I live on an ave. You live on a street. I live on a road. I'm on a road. What is the difference between. What you on a boulevard? You look like a boulevard kind of guy. <laughs> no, he lives off a road. Circle. Trail. Is it a circle? Cul-de-sac. You, is it a it's a cul-de-sac though, right? Technically, sort of, kind of, because you live at the end of a dead end, right? Yeah, well, it's circle then. So, what's but the, it's not a circle. It's just court. The, court. Courts. Yeah. So, what's the difference between? I know that that's the difference. I, I'm sure there are actual things, but I don't know what they are. I feel like I looked it up at one point. And there's. I feel like one's good, like, like one's busy with the other. Maybe that's what it is. Like a ab could be like a like a lot of traffic going on. Could be. The road's like a dirt road. So it's probably less traffic. I think it's more or less like... A street's more like kids. Mm-hmm. That's like it... Like a development would be like court, yeah. circle. Or a court sack, right? Or way. area where it's avenue, way. you know, way. street way. Yeah. Boulevard's more of like a... More happening, I guess. Roosevelt Boulevard. So speaking of cinematic, what do you, how do you feel about the logo? We're going to have the... You know, you were part of the group. There's so. nothing wrong with the logo, in my opinion. You like it? I said, there's nothing wrong with it, okay. in my opinion. I know Steph said she loved it. Yeah. So were you guys like, Steph didn't want, ever want to do like, you know, the... That, yeah. That's that's happening. Okay. I'm, I'm putting, that's what we want to do. What? So, you know how when I do the transitions, it's like a fade to the next mm-hmm. scene? It's going to have the clap in there. Okay. That's that's already, it's already in the works. I figured with the way, you know, you did, did I was expecting at some point in one episode where, you know. Yeah, that's that's We're thing. doing the chop, you know. The only reason why I don't, I have, I have an official one, but I can't use that one because it's there's a. universal on it. Yeah, yeah. Sponsor us. Yeah, sponsor us. Actually, that would be Comcast. Well, who is the, who's like the parent company? Comcast or Universal? That's not Universal. Com- uh, so Comcast. Comcast is. The umbrella and oh. the NBC Universal really? and everything else. Yeah, oh, Comcast on a lot of shit that people don't know. It's like Disney. We know. <laughs> we don't. There's there's no sequel with Disney. Disney we, sponsors. I'm going to see you guys next week. See, the thing about that is if Disney sponsors you. Disney be like, I own all of this. That's the only thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know what that, that means. Hey, oh, sponsor us. Put the <laughs> Hey, deli down the road. Good Any night. deli. Pine pi- Run Deli. I'm, you know what? I might actually go in there and talk to him. Can you do it? Why not? Just, why the fuck not? Right? I know who can sponsor us. The Black and Blue Events Team. Okay. I'm a, yeah. I thought somebody to sponsor us. We can, we can make a little bit of money out of this. We should probably YouTube it or have uh, someone who is either on or off set camera to look up the things that we need to do to sponsor you're part of the, hey man. I feel like this is their job. Yeah, we're just hosting that and shit, right? We you, are the you get you get the people to come on. I'm editing and hosting with you. And like literally without the two of us, yeah. it's gonna suck. Yeah, it's gonna suck. There's no ab or cinema. It's just a random ass street. One of us is cinema, the other one's ab. Yeah. Together we make cinema. We make it, ab, but I don't know which one is which. The team. It don't, yeah. ma- it don't no. matter. It no, don't we matter. didn't do we didn't do the big hero six way. <laughs> it's a team here. It's a whole team. The whole family is here. They look. So unhappy. <laughs> yeah, like, I've never seen Carter that unhappy before in my life. Steve always looks that unhappy. I mean, come on, Buffalo Bill. See, he'll be happy again. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard Carter so loud in my entire life. We gotta do a special episode somewhere. Like, I feel like we should yeah, travel. Do oh, so actually, so Seth had a good idea. We go do like a local coffee shop. I was thinking the same thing. Like, because they're small. I wish Glassbrook still had, like, it was a Levy East Cafe. Or we find, like, an old record See, store that sells, like, DVDs and stuff like that. We, we could do, do, like, that. Princeton Record Exchange. We can do that. Uh, there, there's a Berlin Farmer's Market, too. That's near in Berlin. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. yeah we gotta try to do it's not like we have a lot to transport, so you just gotta make sure you have the can- the, uh, the batteries. My sister, remember, Sherry was saying, this, also, I like, know this is the hard part. Not really. 
But I remember, whoa. In terms of having no power. Not even just that. Well, either way, if you get the coffee shop to agree to it, then now you right away have a sponsor because then there you are. You have their product in front of you, you know. Speaking of that, Adobe. I use Premiere and After Effects to edit. Not very often. No. That's all I use. You want to sponsor? No, no, I'm saying he he uses you you guys guys exclusively. (laughs) He just doesn't edit very often. Yeah, because all these episodes I've been banging out in the last couple of weeks or nothing. You're right. Correct. 15 episodes. That's insane. I'm glad we all took that break that day. <laughs> when you went on vacation, I was like, well, I got another one coming up, so we'll yeah, take we another t- four-day break. And I start my new job, guys. Ooh. I wonder if they will let... I got to get in good first. I gotta yeah, get in I mean, yeah, talk yeah. to them. Yeah. Talk to them. I got to get in good first. What about your job? I mean, if you're not fired by Friday, you know. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be crazy, he right? Might, he might get fired by tomorrow. He hasn't even started yet. True. Hey, yeah, man, look. Fuck it. Unemployment. <laughs> my job's automotive. I don't know if that would... We'll be in there trying to film. Why well, are gonna sit in my ass? Yeah. Drills going off the yeah. <laughs> No, I'll do some research and we'll figure it out. Yeah, let's let's we'll let's, be good. Let's all do research, all of us. You got any uh, ideas? You got any ideas? I feel like you of all of us. Are, <laughs> you probably you do. Probably, you probably know it better than us. You gonna put F U? That was pretty short. Look for college. Is that, 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 that was? Is that what that was? Boston College. Oh, I almost pushed a whole straight through that, that board. Honestly, honestly, if they would do it, I'd let them. Mm, if they pay off my student loans. Honestly, they need they need some help, and we need some. They don't have. Well, that's sponsors. episode fifteen of Cinema F. <laughs> Pick up sticks. Fuck. Is that a record for uh, bees in an episode oh, here? Yeah. Okay. Wu Tang Clan. We're immune, we're immune to the bees now. It's okay. Wu Tang Clan's thing. Bees. bees. Who can't claim nothing to fuck with? Yeah, take these bird bees. <laughs> right between the teeth, Keith. Go. What is <laughs> Shove them in your new what? You know what? And <laughs> What's that, Chocolate Thunder? <laughs> we did not finish all these. Take two steps and back and fuck your own face. <laughs> okay, Flaming Dragon. Fuck fans. <laughs> Yo, Chocolate Thunder was funny as shit. Oh yeah, speaking of that, is there any guilty pleasure movie that you guys figured out? I couldn't think of one. I had stopped thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I definitely know there's there's definitely one out there. Yeah. I just can't. There has to be one. I'm sure I'll think of it as soon as we leave. I mean, TV show. What you got? Desperate Housewives. Really? <coughs> well, <coughs> We're scrapping this episode. I, don't... <laughs> I want nothing to do with this guy. I don't I can't know why. Judge him. We're moving. I can't judge him because my sister had me, when we went to Texas, um, what was that? 90, 90 Day Fiance? Mm-hmm. When I, when, the first day we got the shoes put in, I was like, what is this bullshit? At the end of the week, I was like, yo, is he going to marry her? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, speaking of that, I have one I would never watch anymore. I have no interest. What was the uh, the reality show with Tila Tequila? Oh, my oh, God. Uh, what happened to her? I have no idea. Who knows? It's Flavor Flav and... Flavor Love. That's what I was. Yeah, yeah, but she... I forget what she had, but she had... Because she was bi, so she had both guys and girls on the show. And she wasn't sure, like... She just had to pick from the pool of either. I think our reality TV is not reality. I used to love, like, the dating shows on MTV. Like, uh, like Next. Next They, was they get off the bus, and they're like, Nope, Next! Like, yeah. they didn't... So... Get a Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was Tinder in person. Yep. I mean, I, re- I remember Singled Out, but I never really watched anything. I don't know that one. Yeah. No, no, I remember, remember uh, Real World and Road Rules? Yeah, but I never watched them. I know. Never, never got into those. Not old enough. My sister used to watch that shit. My oldest sister. Yeah. I was just like, what's the man? I was young. Now, those things, reality shows don't do much for me. I don't. My sister likes It's all fabricated clubs. drama. Like, it's not well written drama. My sister likes Bad Girl Clubs. Bad Girls Club? Yeah, whatever it's called, I don't fucking know. Bad, bad girl clubs. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably go more than one club. I don't know. They might. Nah, she does that. You know how like they're at work and you come home, you want to unwind, not think about shit. Mm-hmm. That's why she watches it. She's just, I don't have to think about nothing. That's how The Simpsons is for me. I watched The Simpsons so many times. It's just like yeah, that's a comfort thing. So, what's your is it office for you? Comfort office show? and friends. Porn what? Hub. What's your uh, comfort <laughs> show? <laughs> comfort show. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... I watch a lot of them. I don't know. Like you got, 
you just want to sit back. You don't want to think about anything. You want to drink a beer. Be just... something you've seen a hundred times. Not a hundred times, but you know, like over and over. I don't really watch Especially things over and over again. No, no? Uh-uh. I'd rather find something else. Interesting. I mean, I like to do that with movies, but TV shows I like to. Any game play? Over and over. Tony Hawk. Great game. Great game. Derek loves it. He always wants to play with me almost every day now. Nice. So. And you got the remastered one or the old one? I did have the old one on Xbox 360, but I don't have one of them anymore, so now it's mm-hmm. just the, the new one. I bought that as soon as it came That's out. Great. When, that, when that came out, I was like, oh my gosh, it's nostalgia. That's what we're going to age nostalgia. That's all it is now. Madden comes out tomorrow. Well, I haven't hurry out. bought Madden. I haven't got Madden in years, but I asked Steph for my birthday to get to get Madden. Just uh, since just, birthday's tomorrow. Well, I don't, I don't know. You, you're PlayStation, right? Yeah. Well, Xbox would um eat what well, Ultimate eat the Game Pass. Yeah, you can already download it like three days ago. Oh really? Well, oh, the three. basic version of it, but really, but with like which remember well, you only get to play for like eight hours or something like that. But that's how it was dope because I like, <laughs> Xbox Monsters. but that's why it was dope. Because Microsoft, PlayStation, Sony. Not because I'm I'm a Sony's person, hands down PlayStation. But the, between PlayStation Plus and the Game Pass Store, like the games are. They have, I feel like PlayStation used to be better in that regard because it was free for so long. I miss the times where you could just play online for free. Right. I miss that. It's like I feel like I'm paying for internet twice. Right. It's like you gotta pay for internet and then you gotta pay for internet. <laughs> right. well, it was never free with Xbox, was it? Dreamcast. But yeah. You know, Wait, it was free for Xbox, right? Originally? No, no, I don't think so. PlayStation I, was. Yeah, PlayStation was. Yeah. I mean, it was only like fifty dollars, I think, a year at some point. That's I had the uh, the P Beast. the PlayStation Plus. Now they want you to spend that ultimate package, which is like one hundred and fifty a year. Oh, yeah, he's a PC. PC games aren't bad. I just grew up on consoles. But like, I never played PC games. Of course, one last thing. Oh, uh, sh- again with the sister. <laughs> The entire length of the episode. That's my dog. Mm. That redneck apple juice. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> you bought this juice. Yeah. How, how is your sister doing? Don't know. You haven't talked to her? No. That's okay. My older sister doesn't talk to me either. It's been like three years now? Was the air just running? I don't it was. Know it's that someone was. else's. It's somebody else's air. Why yeah. is it so loud in this building? Lakeview. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Sponsor us. Nah. I feel like you've never lived in an apartment. I'm, right? I've never lived in an apartment. Either. There we go. Wait, so you have? Mm-hmm. How many? One. One? Never? Technically, you have. Okay. No, that's not true. That's like a, in college. Mm-hmm. A little dorm. Yeah. It's a dorm. Doesn't really count. Well, no. I mean, we had a straight up apartment in Newark. It was I mean, a dorm is an apartment. But no, I it, guess. But no, Newark was a straight up apartment building. That they still have, right? Yeah. Is it still there? I Are they still running so. the Bluefield? I heard <laughs> Bluefield's getting shut down. I heard they're getting close. I hope. I mean, I don't want to <clears> have a degree <throat> from a school that got shut down. I have one already. <laughs> I did Is that a thing? <laughs> it's not a thing anymore, no. My degree is Bronte County College. That's not a thing anymore, so. Is it Roman now? It, but it didn't get shut down. It just is it Roman? names. It's Roman College or Bronte County. Because Roman just taking over everything. I heard that Mount Claire was trying to form with uh, Bloomfield College. I'm like, don't, please don't, because they shut it down when it got paid student loans, and I owe eighty grand to them. Yeah, but it's not no, them. You owe. It's not them. You owe. Yeah. No, you owe the state. Yeah, but if you shut this shit down, you don't got to pay shit. I already. That's not true. As, yes, it is true. It's it, it's absolutely true. Short to state or it's not like Sally May or whoever you took the loan out of. Especially if it's private, you a thousand percent sell it. ITD Tech. I don't got to pay shit. Shitty shoe shot. Shit. Zip zip. That doesn't exactly. seem right. Well, you know, when you go it's to college. It's kind of like a weird loophole. Just burn the place down. Loophole. I, yeah, I t- I t- I t- I t- got shut down years ago. and they've been like, I didn't oh. know that. And they fucked up. They fucked up when they told me. I called, I was like, how much I was pursuing loans? And they were like, you're not accruing interest or anything. So I was like, how much I owe? They were like, it's just sitting here. I was like, so hypothetically speaking, if I don't pay you guys, what happens? So it was just like, it's just sitting here. So I was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you tell me that? Right. <laughs> So what you're saying is like, oh, but I don't owe. He was like, bro, I'm just, like, he was, he was so professional, he was just like, bro, listen, if you don't pay, it's not, you're, you're fine. I'm right. Like, well, you'll know what your credit, because I went for a credit card, I want to say, it's bro, my 15 credit years is ago, and 
fucked. And one of my one of my student loans from um, Lincoln Tech, I don't know why there was like a separate like three thousand dollar one or something that never got paid. Mm-hmm. And when I went for my credit card, they were like, um, "See yeah, that? That's, I feel like that's not, not going to work." I feel like, like it's not fair. I feel like when it comes to like credit card or I'm sorry, at student loans and medical bills, I feel like they shouldn't. They shouldn't do nothing like that for you. That's well, like, you don't pay for like seven years, I mean. But I'm saying, everybody fucking owns student loans. And it's yeah. so much money. Like, okay, I don't want to be the guy to say this, but I don't care. College, to me, is a joke. Depends on what you... Depends on what your major is, but there's a lot of people, a high percentage of people who go to school, get a good degree, and they can't even get into their field. Well, because they're making it more and more difficult. And they're like, not only to find a job, but they're, they're expanding the pool of candidates. So, yeah. so much. But it's like, for the, like I went for multimedia, and it was like, different jobs, like, oh, no, you don't have enough experience, enough experience. So I was like, fuck it. I'll build my own I mean, business. You're, you're talking 80s, 90s, 2000s. They told every kid in the world they had to go to college. Yeah. So now every kid in the world had a degree. Right. And every kid in the world has a paperweight. Because <laughs> right. that's what it is now. Right. It's like, it's just insane how much debt all of us are in. Yeah, and 50% of who do have degrees, they don't do anything with them. Well, or not in the field. Yeah, least. in the field that they right. have it in. Like, Michelle, she has hers in criminal justice. Yeah, sells turbos. So, right, you know. that's how I'm just like. Look, I just made my own company. I teach. <laughs> so you're you're in your field. I have a liberal arts degree from you know, Rowan now whatever you yeah. know that is, service advisor and automotive. So you know, Rowan sponsors. Actually, that's not a bad. You're idea. not that far away, Glassboro. That is not a bad idea. Rowan's shit. Fuck sponsor us. <laughs> They're not shit. That's not what he said. I'm from Glassboro. <laughs> sponsor us. <laughs> Well, that's not a but bad just to be clear, Santa Lee, you said Rowan is no. Shit. I'm saying Rowan shit, as in please. Snowball Ice, sponsor us. <laughs> isn't isn't a blue? Isn't that the name? Whatever. Blue is the brand. That's the typical. It's the Sour Patch Kids. Fruit <laughs> snacks, whatever you are, Welch's. Sponsors. <laughs> sponsor that. Who's, who's a crayon mango juice? Is that Ocean Spray? Yeah, Ocean, Ocean Spray. Spray. Sponsor us. Yeah. Come back to Jersey. Wait, they weren't from. No, I didn't know. Well, that. there was. They had a factory in Jersey. And they shut down. Hmm. Jersey, we get it no like, love. It was like Bordentown area. We get no love. We had sports here, basketball. Eric know. was happy when he came. He was like so happy to be in New Jersey. He, he well, that's the first person there. I ever heard about yeah. life. Play that shit. There's still hockey and. Was it the Devils? Yeah. Everybody's a Flyers fan. Hockey and it? soccer, that's about it. And then the statue yeah. Liberty, everybody's like, oh, New York. But it's, but it's still a New York here. team for soccer. So. Right. Same, and the, oh, the Jets play the Jersey, Jets, too? Yeah. So it's New York Jets, New York Giants, New York Red Bulls. So they all play in New Isn't Jersey. And our taxes go and pay for that stadium. So. Isn't the Statue of Liberty also technically in yeah. the same? We get nothing. We have them, but we just don't get them. Yeah, all we get is, oh, Jersey's a suckhole so state. And it's just, it, it, you got toxic and stuff like that. It's like, all right, so we're like Springfield. Fuck it. <laughs> we, uh... Really? This, that, is, this is a long one. Damn! It was fast as fuck. Tyler, you're sex too. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's not bad to be fast. You gotta go to work. You gotta get the quickie in. Ba- ba- boom! You're done. <laughs> so, you, you wanna shill ourselves? Keith knows all about that. Yeah, shill ourselves. Plug ourselves? You know what's funny? Plug ourselves so good. When I'm editing, the order that we go in, it's just, it's just it not doesn't right matter. One. But fuck it. All right. We'll try to stay in the same order. So, this is the, you know, you've watched every episode. Matt, you, you want to go first? Okay. I'm Steve Laurel on everything, and you'll never see me post anything, so. <laughs> when you say everything, just for editing purposes. Okay. Oh, all right, excuse me. Steve Laurel Jr. with uh, Facebook. All right. Uh, honestly, with I don't really know. it, and I'm on Instagram and Twitter, but I really don't know. I think it's just Steve Laurel. You're also on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing, right? I, I, I guess, yeah. Editing, editing purposes. Thank you. I appreciate that. You want to go second? Or you sure. Go second? Oh, sure. oh, I'm also an admin in New Jersey Green Can of Queen Group. You can find me there. Whoop, whoop. You'll find me there, too. Ha yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying. Not me. Not me. <laughs> Boo. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on Facebook, it's uh, Kyle Bain, or if you want to do the backslash. Facebook.com backslash it's uh, Bane's Film Reviews. Uh, on Instagram and TikTok, it's Bane's Film Reviews. Uh, my website is Bane's Film Reviews. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> it kills me every time I'm editing. I'm like, it's motherfucking. <laughs> but Twitter, sponsor you, us. Sponsor us. 
why can't I have one more character? It's just Bane's film review. What is Twitter, one don't sponsor character? us. No, no, shut up, shut up. Sponsor <laughs> us. But why do they not have... That's a, I don't understand that. Because they've always been against, like, people being able to express themselves fully. You gotta... <laughs> well, <laughs> like well, no, not like not being censored. You just can't write full sentences on Twitter. That's what people spell wrong. <laughs> right. I hate that. I hate having a degree in literature. I, I hate to have to go back and change like B four to the letter B and the number four. Like I'm gonna let like you that. finish it, and I'm gonna say what I have to say, but I'm gonna let you finish doing. But videos. also check out Cinema Ave. So on both TikTok and Instagram, Cinema Ave one. That's Cinema Ave and the number one. Uh, you can check us out on, again, both TikTok and Instagram. Send us some emails. We've only had one email from this guy. Dude. Pats doesn't count. That was the mail. It was the Noble fan. You are the Noble fan. I am not. You have no other fans. I am Pat on the cam. That's me. How many episodes have we done you don't know who I am? It's Pat on the cam. You're trying to rebrand. Spell it out. That's me. It's not your turn yet. Okay. <laughs> Cinema... <laughs> Cinema Ab one, Cinema Ab in the number one at gmail.com. Bam! Seriously, send us an email. God damn it! Anything. Fuck. <laughs> That's like, not that hard. Literally anything at all. And you have more than hundred characters. We'll make their days. We'll be so happy. And you have more than hundred characters. We'll give you a characters. shout out. We'll shill the hell out of your social media. We'll shill so hard. <laughs> Keith will make an appearance. Keith, no teeth. Two T's. <laughs> two T's and no teeth. <laughs> But now you have my boy over there. You probably got to sip through it pretty quick because I took up a lot of time. That's all good. So, make this fast. Blow! Pat on the cam. That's Pat on the cam. P-A-T-O-N-D-A-C-A-M. Pat on the cam. And that is for Instagram and also TikTok. Now, it's Patrick Newell on Facebook. And that's it for me. So, what I was going to say is when I was going to school, when I was a young buck, <laughs> my English teacher did not allow us to have phones in class. The first thing he did was like, put your phone down. For the whole semester, we couldn't have phones in class. So, but, everybody read a book. Pat doesn't know how to read books. I, I don't know. But I, that's it for episode 15, Pick Up Sticks. Pick Up this Sticks. This is Upper Decker Steve. Upper Decker Steve. My bald eagle twin. <laughs> and I'm the man pounding the can. We Thanks love y'all. Thanks for having us for weeks. Peace. Oh, peace.